as you move up and down to make sure that things go well, especially for those who are watching online. So pray for us and pray for the clue as they bring this to you live. So God bless you all. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Father, we want to thank you so much for this summit, leadership, youth leadership summit that we are having beginning uh, last uh, Wednesday until now. So wonderful lessons from the speakers. And Lord, today you have again some more lessons for us as you help us to develop and to become leaders that you want us to be. And I want to commit myself in your hands this morning that you will touch my mouth and speak a word to each one of us as we look at some uh, thoughts on youth leadership and most especially how to lead like Jesus. We thank you for all our online viewers, wherever they are. Bless them, bless us, we worship you, and may this worship give glory and honor to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I was told to stand here, but I don't know. Can I move to my computer? Can I move now? Thank you. That's for instruction. All right. Okay. Uh, I want to share my PowerPoint here. So they asked me to talk a little bit about youth leadership. And I must be honest with you that there are some subjects that I don't feel confident and comfortable to talk about. One of those subjects is marriage. I am so afraid to lecture and to talk about marriage. I feel that when it comes to marriage, I need to still sit, listen, and learn. That's why if I'm invited and someone tells me you're going to talk about marriage, I don't come. In fact, one time I was invited in Singapore, I didn't know. Uh, but on the last minute when I was preparing for my flight, somebody called me and said, by the way, Dan, you will also talk about marriage. It was too late to cancel. They already booked everything, all the tickets. So I wondered, what will I talk about marriage? It is because... I am also still struggling with my own marriage, so I feel I'm not ready to tell others about marriage. But I could not cancel, and when I got there, it was afternoon, I prepared, and my introduction, I put out my cell phone, and I showed it to them. This was my introduction. This is so warm. My wife on my screen saver. And I looked at all of them and I told them, love your wives. They were so happy. 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 They for today's marriage and got some thoughts from these wonderful people Willie and uh, Elaine Oliver from the Jesus so I got some things here to share with them after sharing a woman came to me at the end of my lecture and she said salamat kayo pastor na bless kayo kung ano man for the first time ang akong bana ang iyang screen server ako ang picture you never know how God will use you. He was, she was about to cry, and the husband came to me and said, Pastor, I realized you'd go. From today and onwards, I'm a screen saver, a wife. And they were so happy. They came to me, they were so happy, asked me some things I shared with them, you know, love your wife. You know. So they thought, wow, this guy is good in marriage. Took me the mall, bought for me some things. That night, when I went back to my hotel, I looked at my cell phone, and there was a scolding message from my wife. She was in the Philippines, I was in Singapore, and without thinking, 
I also replied right away with another scolding message. She replied also, we spent almost like 30 minutes, six, on the phone fighting and all. Wow. I didn't sleep well that night. And I say, you see, this is why I don't like to talk about marriage. Because I feel like a hypocrite. I lectured, Pastor, Salamat kayo sa imong lecture. Pagabot sa imong balay, nag-away sa imong wife. <laughs> Hypocrisy, I hate it. It's okay when I fight with my wife because that's normal. I'm used to it. If we spend one month without fighting, something is wrong. <laughs> there must be some missing. If kungwala, something is not right here. If it's there, okay. This is normal. We go through it. We go out, go through it, go out. That's all. But I don't want to talk about marriage. I want to learn about marriage. Another subject I don't like to talk about is leadership. Leadership. Up to now, I still ask myself, what is leadership really? I have trauma. Because I think that my country, Uganda, can be a developed country like Singapore. I went to Singapore and I shed tears as I walked through that country and I wondered, why is this country like this? And the answer was leadership. Why is my country, Uganda, with so much gold and copper and resources, why do we still have poor and suffering people? Leadership. So that even the youth, the young generation, have developed trauma of leadership because what we see about our leaders in the government is they are only getting healthy and healthy while well, some things are not going well. This means at the heart of the development of a country, there must be a strong leadership. And then how much more at the heart of the church? God's ministry. So sensitive that Jesus has to come down, not just to die for us, but to develop leaders whom he is going to depend upon and to work with to finish his mission. How many years did Jesus spend just developing leaders? And you can see how much God's work can become so delayed or can become faster because of leadership. And I'm sharing this so that we as young people, I'm so happy to know from last night lecture that I'm also still young, 30 and, 30 and below, 30, 40, right? And below still youth, so I also belong to the youth. To realize as we step and start our leadership journey, to realize that leadership is a very sensitive area that we may become obstacles or we may become God's instrument in taking his mission so quickly. Do you know that in my country, Uganda, many young people hated the church? And the reason why they hated the church, one of the reasons was they observed that our leaders were fighting. I know that there was a time when there was a fight in the excom meeting. The news went out. The leader stood and fought. So that many young people have lost interest and develop trauma because of leadership. And this shows to us how much, how sensitive this ministry of leading is, even when it comes to God's mission. So this morning, as I share some thoughts, I thought it would be just safe for me to only share with you on how we can lead like Jesus.
Because I believe that Jesus was not only a spiritual leader, but Jesus is the greatest role model when it comes to leadership. So that there are so many books written about leadership. We read those. So many lectures, so many summits that we attend and we hear and learn about leadership. But you will agree with me that somehow there is still a crisis of leadership. Even in the church. So that one writer on leadership, Ken Blanchard, would say, we need a new role model when it comes to leadership. In fact, I was, I was surprised to know. Blanchard, he writes and he says, All the thoughts, ideas that have been written about leadership, all of them have come from the four Gospels and the book of Acts and the leading in the life of Jesus as recorded in the Gospels and in the book of Acts. Wow! All the thoughts about leadership have come out of the leadership model of our blessed Lord, Jesus Christ. This tells me that as a young person, if I want to become an effective leader, all I need is to go back to the book of Luke and Mark and Matthew and Acts and read how did Jesus lead and then say, I want to lead like Jesus. So you have to know that the leadership of Jesus was all grounded in the, it was leading like Jesus is loving, loving like Jesus. His was a love based leadership so that he's not the one who would say, what is your problem? I am sick. I will pray for you. What is your problem? I am suffering. God will be with you. Jesus didn't do that. But Jesus, he's the kind of leader that when he walked by the sycamore tree and looked up and he saw Zacchaeus, he does not say, God, Zacchaeus, God bless you. No, no. He says, Zacchaeus, come down. I want to be with you. I want to visit your house. I want to stay in your house. And the Bible says that Jesus, he went that day with Zacchaeus. By the way, church leaders were so amazed that they accused Jesus. Did you know that the church leaders at that time did not buy the leadership style of Jesus because he was the kind of leader who walked and talked with sinners? That the church leaders accused Jesus, said, this man, what kind of leader is this? He walks, he talks, and he eats with sinners. Yet this was the leadership style of Jesus. He did not say, I will pray for you, God bless you, no. He says, you know, come, I want to be with you. In other words, Jesus was the kind of leader who recognized the needs of his followers. He loved them. Find out what their ambitions and he helped them to become what God wanted them to become. Change the life of his followers. One of those was Zacchaeus. Jesus sleeps in the house of Zacchaeus. And by morning, Zacchaeus was not a tax collector anymore. He was a disciple of Jesus. Did you know that records show that later on Zacchaeus became a church pastor and he died pastoring a small church somewhere. He was transformed by Jesus Christ. Some thoughts on leadership. Stories told of a man from Germany who went to the northern part of my country, Uganda. And he went there to look for a wife. Now, my country, when you go to the south part of my country, the people there are a little bit, a little bit, uh, they are lighter, a little bit brown. 
when you go to the northern part of my country, the color changes now. People there are so black. In fact, the further you go, when you go to the very top, very north of my country, people there are not just black, but they are so black. So you have manga. Lighter, itom, itom kayo. But let me share with you something that is amazing. Even us, as Ugandans, when we meet each other, we laugh at each other. From the south, when we meet from the north, oh, we laugh. Even us. So I am from the, where, where do you think I'm from? I'm from the south. So I spent my high school in the north. And I was so proud. Why? I was the whitest among all my classmates. <laughs> they admired me so much. So they nicknamed me Brown Boy. As I see Brown, as I see Brown, mm, I feel good also. <laughs> but the people from the north, they're also very talented. They run so fast. All the talents are in the north. By the way, the people in the north are also so beautiful. So beautiful. You know, when I came to Mountain View College, I saw a guy who was so black. I was shocked. I laughed and went and called my girlfriend to come and see with me this guy, Piertika Itom. It's amazing. God have mercy upon us. So my wife, my girlfriend comes and she said, where? Where? come you will laugh and when she comes so that's the guy she looked at the guy and she looked at me looked at him and she laughed and she said actually no difference but this man from germany he goes to the north and there he's looking for a wife and he finds one and the wife was so this woman was so happy you would know that our dream as Ugandans is to leave Uganda because of the economical struggles. People find opportunities abroad. So this woman is so happy. I'm going to go abroad anytime. Goodbye. I'm going to Germany. Wow. She's so happy. She has been chosen among so many. The husband says, I'm going to Europe. I'm going to prepare a place for us and all that. I'm going to come, make a wedding. We will go to Germany and you'll be my wife. And while the husband-to-be was away, this woman sits down and she looks herself in a mirror. And she says, hmm, how do I look? She began examining her face. And she said, I think I am so black. How about if I surprise my husband? I change my color so that we look the same. Maybe he might even love me more. Please listen to me. She's thinking, how do I look? What can I do to make myself better so my husband can love me even more? So she says, that is a perfect plan. She goes and she buys all the pans and the creams and all that stuff. And she begins working on her face every morning. Every morning change her skin color by the way i tried to do that <laughs> and i regret why i tried but do not blame me i was striving to, con to contextualize because i was assigned in lopezaina not lopezaina panaon panaon on the road to oroketa when i arrived there I found out that people were, most especially the kids, they were so afraid of me. Every time they would cry, cry. I said, what's wrong? I asked, they said, you know, Dan, I'm so sorry, because in this place, we have black ghosts. They call them Agda. Huh? Ghosts? Black? So... Right away, I look up and say, Lord, I think you sent me to a wrong place. <laughs> I think God has a sense of humor. In fact, I, I, Lord, why of all places? Because as missionaries, we say, Lord, here I am, send me. 
Why of all places you sending me to a place where people think I am a ghost? Lord, why? I think God made a mistake. Or he forgot. So I look in the mirror. I don't want to scare kids. I want to make my face like the kids. So I bought pants. <laughs> Every morning. And it was working until after one month. Someone came and said, No, 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 was true so I look in the mirror it's true I stopped to change my skin color praise God it came back because when you start changing your color you distort your face if you have no money anymore you become so ugly your skin will never be as it was before but praise God it came back and I realized God had a purpose why he sent me to that specific place. Kabalamo, kada time nga na evangelistic meeting, ang advertisement, alinamo nga naman, na yung usaka African, usaka itom, alinamo pala magtanaw, usaka African, alinamo, alinamo, daghan kayo mga ato sa evangelistic meeting. Aman siya na din, ah, ah, all of them are so happy, kumusta, okay la, okay la, oh, oh, oh. I have to get out from my feeling of being laughed at and to understand that God has a purpose. When they are in the hospital, people have accidents there in the room. So many people accident, and they are TL, sakit, cry, sakit, and lawas. And then they have their caretakers taking care of them. And then when I came, my friend had got a motor accident. I stood on the door. Everybody's crying, look so sad. When I stood on the door, the caretakers were taking care of, okay, sorry. They saw me standing on the door. They stopped, they forgot taking care of the patients. All of them stared at me. And then they told their patient, Oi, oi, stop na pagilak, turn out it all. So they stopped crying, and all of them were looking at me, the caretakers and the patients. And after a few moments, they began laughing. <laughs> the patients were crying. Sakit. <laughs> wow. So I had a choice to be angry and run away, but to think, Lord, what is your purpose? What is your divine appointment? And I realized the Bible says, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. If I have come and patients are laughing, they have medicine, and I am the source of medicine. Praise God. I don't care how I feel I have dedicated my life use me in any way that you want oh Lord so this woman she changed her skin color and when the husband came back he was so surprised the husband was so sad he cried and he says Han, you made a mistake you did not ask me why I chose you the reason why I chose you is because my dream is to marry a black woman that's why I left all the white women in Europe and came to Africa, to Uganda and to the northern part looking for one. And when I found you, I praise God because this is my dream to marry a black woman. But I'm so sorry, I can't marry you anymore. And she lost the greatest privilege of her life. The men would go to look for somebody else. You know, leadership is so nice. When we are chosen, there is a feeling I am better than others. There can be a feeling who else could lead. There can be a feeling uh, God has had a favor on me. 
They can be feeling on and looking on those that we are leading. I am the only one. But I want to remind you of what Ellen White talks about leadership that should cause us to be so alarmed. She says, the path of youth. I put that one. The, the right word there is men. But I put the youth who are placed as leaders is not an easy path. And if you understand what Ellen White is saying to us, it means that if you are chosen to become a leader, the first thing is not to receive congratulations. Congratulations. There is nothing fun about it. You have taken a very difficult path. But how many of you, when you have been chosen to lead, how many of you have gotten down on your knees and asked, Lord, why have you chosen me lord lord i am weak i realize that great leaders in the bible like moses they realized they were not worthy to lead they said lord difficult lord difficult lord i can't speak so well and listen god does not say no no you can no 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 he does not say that's true you can't but here's the point the point is it is not about you I will be with you. That is the point. Me and God. Me and God. Me and God. My weaknesses with the strength of God. My, my, my shortcomings with the strength of God. Become a success. Because God will lead through me. And as I get on my knees and ask God why. It helps me ever to understand that. God has a purpose why he has chosen me. That's why when he chooses us to some become secretaries, to some become janitors, you are the leader in charge of janitors. To some become leaders ahead, presidents, to some different officers, because wherever God has put us, he has put us there for a purpose. And this morning, I want to just bring some thoughts. Remember King Saul. When God called King Saul, to leadership God knew that King Saul had some defects in his life the Bible says when you read this I think the 61th chapter of prophets and patriarch I challenge all of you to read the whole book of prophets and patriarchs most especially chapter 61 in the preceding chapters the rejection and the sad life of Saul and God's elevation for the Bible says about King Saul King Saul was deficient in knowledge and experience and had serious defect of character that means when God called Saul he knew that Saul Israel thought Saul was a perfect leader good handsome talented but God knew he was not he was struggling he had defects and he had a problem with his character but still God allows him to come do you know that it was not God who chose Saul it was the people who chose Saul by the way that is one of the sad moments in the life of in Israel when the Israel people say to God Lord give us a leader I believe it was never God's intention for a human being to lead his people Moses was not leading, it was God who was leading. Until the time of Saul, it was God leading his people. Then when the time came, the people looked at other nations. They have leaders, strong and powerful leaders. They said, Lord, we want a human leader. God was so sad. Because he knew that a human being has tendencies of becoming corrupt. Human being with the wicked heart has tendencies of manipulating God's people he knew that a human being has tendencies of misusing office for selfish desires and intention he knew what a human being can do but when people say Lord give us a leader God was so sad and he granted their wish and he gave them Saul but the reason why God accepted Saul with all his defects Ellen White says, but the Lord granted him the Holy Spirit as a guide and helper and placed him in a position 
where he could develop the qualities requisite for a ruler of Israel. So the reason why God has allowed you as you see God, what is your purpose for me? Why have you put me in the leadership to, to lead others? The first reason is God wants to change you. There is something wrong with me. Something wrong with you. So a call to leadership, it is a call to be changed by God. Me and God. Me and God. As God changes me, then he uses me as an instrument to change those I am leading. It means when God calls me, he does not call me to lead. God calls me to follow him. As I follow the Lord, I become an influence to others that our leader looks so happy. He looks so joyful. He looks so confident. Why? He is following the Lord. You know what? I also want to follow the Lord like my leader. That means I'm not following the leader or the church elder. I am following God. Why? I have seen from my church leader that following God brings joy. Following God brings confidence. Following God brings the fulfillment of life. I want to follow God like my conference president. Would you say amen? amen. So God calls me to change me. As he changes me, he allows me to be like others. But listen to what happened to King Saul. Bible says that he lost sight of his dependence upon God. And in heart, he departed from God. And the very sad fact is that Saul, he's on the throne. He's the king of Israel. But the spirit of God has departed from him. I think it should be our burden as leaders every day to ask, God, is your Holy Spirit still with me? Because it is possible that I can be in office without the Spirit of God. Imagine for how long? And as soon as the Spirit of God departed from Saul, he became so depressed. He never enjoyed his leadership anymore. He became so insecure, trying to secure this and that and that. So, lost it all. Bible says, sorry, uh, according to Ken Blanchard, he writes in one of his books, Leading Like Jesus, he says, if leaders, if a leader's heart and motives are not right, all the brightest thinking and most skilled leadership cannot progress beyond the limits of artful, self-serving exploitation and manipulation but i want to finish up by calling you to remember david as well and as you remember david you remember what the bible says in acts chapter 22 god saying i have found david a man after my own heart who will do all my will and you remember david was not perfect but david I get some lessons. David never lost sight of his dependence upon God through all his life struggles. Even when he has sinned and sinned so bad, he never forgot that God is my source of help and comfort. He is my redeemer. David looked at God continually in his life. And what can we learn from David? He enjoyed chatting with God. Every morning, he didn't just wake up to Facebook with others. He woke up to Facebook with God. The Bible tells us that he read his Bible every day. He enjoyed his Bible. Not just that, but he loved the word of God. He says, thy word I have hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. And David, he accepted his mistakes and failures. He was quick to repent and ask forgiveness from God. Not just that, but David, he trusted and constantly turned to God for help through all his life weaknesses. And for us today, we are called to look to Jesus as a great role model in leadership. 
to lead like him. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to be fruitful, to serve. And how do we do this? John 15, 4, he says, by abiding in Christ. For without Jesus, you can do nothing. Ken Blanchard Father says, followers of Jesus have more in Jesus than just a spiritual leader. We have a practical model of effective leadership. As Jesus, like leader, you acknowledge as you lead that God created every person, that he loves them as much as he loves you, and he has a great plans for their lives. My last slide here. How did Jesus lead? Jesus loved the people he led, he served them, he helped them to become people that God called them to be. So I began by saying that I am not comfortable talking about leadership, but I am into leadership now. And how I got in here? I came in here simply because... I enjoyed eating rice. I realized if you are a leader, you eat unlimited rice. I was a young boy. I went to camp meeting. And in camp meeting, that was the only time that they would prepare for us rice. Rice was expensive. Only the rich can eat rice every day. But we ate rice in camp meeting. We also ate rice when someone died. That's why if someone would say, Kapoy kusaki na boy, gusto ko mamatay, asige pas, 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 para makontog rice. Someone died, plenty of rice. I went to camp meeting with my plate and my Bible. I sat in church with my plate and my Bible. And I pray, Lord, I pray the sermon won't be so long because I want to be the first online. And right after the sermon, I would run to the line with my plate. In my hands. Unfortunately, there were many other kids from the mountains who came to eat rice. When I arrived there, the line was so long. By the time it came to my turn, one I rice. I Gabi, Kamuti, Kamutin Kahoy. I have so much of that at home. Became so disappointed. But with my plate in my hands, I looked at the leaders, the pastors. They don't line up. The brethren would say, Pastor, ayo. I am a on Nadere Pastor. It took, wow, oh, nice. Pastor, they put in a house plenty of foods, unlimited rice, and all that. Wow, I said, Lord, I want to become a pastor. <laughs> and I went to the place where they were eating. I went inside, I said, Young man, what do you want? I said, I came that you can pray for me so I can become a pastor. I didn't tell them so I can eat rice. So, come, come, come. They stopped eating. They came together. I went in the center. Put all their hands around me, these men of God. I remember all of them. All of them. And they prayed, Lord, this young man wants to become a pastor. I said, Lord, yes, so I can have unlimited rice. Bless his calling. Yes, Lord, bless him so I can eat like you as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me tell you, as I look back, I think that day, God blessed my selfish desire. <laughs> and after preaching, one day, I went to, waited for someone to take me to, to have special food. No one came to me. They said, Dan, you are preaching, pero, line up dito. Line up. God was saying to me, if you come to the ministry to eat rice, you are in the wrong place. But God is not so selfish. When he calls fishers of men, they love fishing. He calls them not to change their desires, but to make them better fishers of men. You want to be a nurse? God calls you. He does not change your ambition. He calls you. He makes you a better nurse. Nurses who win souls for Jesus. You want to be an accountant? God does not change you. He calls you. He makes you the best accountant. So that in your office, every position you're called, you use your office as a mission field. That when people come, they don't only learn about medicine and injections and accounting, and, but they also learn that there is a savior in heaven. 
when you are a kind of leader like that who leads and follows Jesus Christ, you reach at a point in your life when you can say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, leads me beside the still waters, restores my soul. And I like what David says. David says, even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, evil, and darkness. I will fear nothing. Why? Because the Lord is my shepherd. You see, David never forgot. It is God who has chosen me and brought me into leadership. And God will sustain me. God has a specific purpose for me and he discovered that God's purpose for me is to lead people to Jesus. So when Jesus comes, he would say, you have not chosen me. I have chosen you. It means this is intentional. I have chosen you by name. But not just that, I have appointed you. Meaning, I have ordained you to be leaders, to go and multiply and bear fruits that will bring glory and honor to heaven. This is my prayer for all of you. May your leadership journey become a transformational journey. So that at the end of your life, you can say with Apostle Paul, throughout my leadership experience and journey, this is my greatest achievement. I have been crucified with Christ. I have died in the course of my leadership. I can tell Jesus has taken full control of my life. And you can say, I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Mercy and goodness will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I don't know if I should make an appeal. Maybe let me make, make an appeal right now as we, when we are still in the message. If you want to make that commitment, Lord, I want my leadership journey to become a transformational leadership. I want you to transform. I want to walk with you. I want to be with you. That's your commitment. You want to respond. Just raise your hand wherever you are. I want my leadership to be a transformation. God bless you, Father. We praise you so much. This morning we have learned a lot from your word. Lord, I pray that you bless us. That as we go through this leadership journey, it will be a transformational one. That we'll learn to lead more like you. To love with all our hearts. To love those that you've called us to lead. And to pour out our lives for them. So that we'll help them to become the people that you want them to become. As we abide with you through the guidance of your Holy Spirit. This is my prayer. In Jesus name, let God's people say, Amen. Wow, what a powerful message that we have just here this morning coming from Pastor Dan. So, brethren, we are being encouraged and um, enlightened by the words coming from God through His servant. And so, uh, yes, the Word of God says that if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Yes, mga kaigsunan, mga kaigalaan, diligyod, lalim ang, ang kinabuhi ng mahimong leader kung tinawag ta sa gino. But then, he promised us that luyo sa mga kasakit, luyo sa mga pagantos, luyo sa mga difficulties, he promised us with that um, tinod anay, genuine nga joy and happiness in his service while serving him. So let us have the Central Mindanao Youth leaders as they are going to render to us the intermission song. And while singing, um, natay mga boxes din in front uh, nga magkolek sa ato ang Sabbath school offering. So if you have brought with you an offering sa ato ang Sabbath school, ato ang i drop din hi sa box nga na in front while ang ato ang same youth leaders we are going to render a song ngadto sa Ginoo
Welcome mga kaigsuna, no? din sa atong special nga, nga higayon sa pagtuki sa atong lesson. This is just the summary sa tanan nga atong i-discuss din eh for this week. Uh, so good sa, so good ka, nga, uh, sa last Monday, Wednesday, uh, Friday, yesterday night, of course today. So, uh, at buka mong gina-welcome sa atong hope worship din eh, sa atong buatan sa South Philippine Union Conference, so particularly din sa atong uh, station sa Hope Channel South Philippines. Atong mga kauban, of course, with me still is our beloved uh, director or how do you call your department? The uh, ministerial Office of secretary. secretary. Of oh. Ministerial Secretary. <laughs> so, Dr. Elvin or Pastor Elvin Salada. But before we start, uh, let's bow our head for prayer. Heavenly Father, we are here uh, to uh, dig deeper into the study of our lesson. Thank you for calling us to be part of this. Uh, we have nothing to boast uh, about, but we know that we have a God who will sustain us, who will give us wisdom, especially as we do the summary of our, this, of our lesson uh, for this week. May we able to bring the, the point that you want us to bring so that all our listeners and our viewers be, may be able to experience your presence, especially on the study of the virtue of waiting and making us realize how important that is. Because without it, well, I mean, what's the point of uh, doing God's work, doing your ministry? And so thank you for this reminder again. May you be with us through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning. And Niagya pong kita makaigsuna no sa atong nindot kay nga topiko this is the the climax sa atong pagtuod sa atong lesson for this whole quarter nga naga uh, naga tutok sa sinulat sa ni David ug kauban pa nga mga 
authors ni ni sa libro sa Salmo. So, atong pag-alantawon karon ka kabuntagon sa mabubuo nga panahon kaning topiko nga kapangulungan uh, wait on the Lord kining pagulat sa atong buhi nga Dios. Atong pagbasaho ng Psalms 27:14, nagaingon dinhi wait on the Lord, be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, uh, on the Lord. So, uh, atin ang makita, bisan ato pa rin pag-alantaon, mismo dinis atong memory text, uh, nga nung gimpasayas, kinikinig po lang awit, atong rin natunan. Last night, tungod kay the assumption is, kita nga mga anak sa Diyos, tungod sa atong, <laughs> sa atong nature, nga, nga, kaning sinful nature, So, wala kita kahit di mo naglisod kita develop ka ng virtue sa pagulat, Dr. Elvin. Mm-hmm. Mabuto ni Naipulong, agidugang din ni uh, Be of Good Carriage. Tungod kay, sa tawhanon nga uh, paglantaw, diligid sa iyon ang pagulat, no? Bisag asa nga mga butang uh, atong ihulagway i- uh, when it comes to waiting. Nagid siya, dako kayo nga challenge, especially ito. Bisan pa sa itong mga kami, experience na ito sa itong kaminyon, yes. sa itong pag-deal sa itong mga anak, no? bisan pa sa itong mga, sa itong workplace, sa itong kauban sa, pa, sa trabaho. So, this is really a, a big challenge. Now, how much more na sa itong relasyon diya, sa itong buhi ng Diyos? That's why, uh, it's so timely. Uh, in fact, naging yun itong author na ang final word daw na itong ma, makuha giyod sa, sa salmo kaning expression na naging yun, wait on the Lord. So, I agree with the, the, the sense of the author. So, uh, yun siya din, yun sa itong text to be of good carriage and he shall strengthen your heart. Kay, nag-ipanahon nga, ma-discourage ta, mga kaigsunan, muna nga, be of good carriage, sige lang. Hindi mm-hmm. nito siya, na yung mga butang nga mga ito mo, Dr. Elby, no, nga, mm-hmm. baluya ta, pero paning ano lang kita ato lang kita ampu nga nga makabaton tao kaning kusog nga ato kaning mo overcome kaya numan kaya ang ginoo dili kaya pontap I like what it says nga gidugang dini no nga he shall strengthen your heart kay kaya kung wala ning medisina nga to strengthen our heart nagikan sa ginoo mawala kita o kaning carriage na mawala nito kadasig sa paghulat sa buhi ng Diyos. Dr. Elvin. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> kining atong pagpaabot si Ginoo, ibutang na to ang atong pagsalig na kaniya. Right. Kaya kung dili na to, ibutang ang atong pagsalig na kaniya, maluya yun da. Luya ta. Wala tay, wala tay kadasig uh, makapadayon. Kaya nga naman, uh, kung ang ato lang yung kaugalingon nga pagkatao mo ay atong saligan sa pagpaabot, dili yun na makapaabot. Kay, mubo na kay ita o pasinsya. Mm-hmm. Pero, kini nga pagpaabot, ibutang man ato atong kaugalingon diha sa pagtuo sa pulong sa ginoo, unya, ang atong pagsalig na adiha kaniya, mm-hmm. so maon ay makahatag na ito o duga nga kadasig o kaligon nga, we have to, we have to go through with, with waiting, kaya ang ato nga pagpaabot sa atong ginoo, Maghatod manggod po nato ni o dako kayo nga ganti. Maghatod po nato ni o dako kayo nga kalipay sa unahan kay ang atong ipaabot nga ginoo mo reward man nato pasulod mata sa langiton nga puyanan. Right. Daloon man tanya sa uh, langit o niya uh, doon natay eternal life nga ato nga mabatnan sa tanan nga mga matarong. So, ang kini nga pagpaabot na dili sayang siya kay ang ato nga gi, gi antos nga pagpaabot mga crisis mga kasakit unsa pa na nga atong gi na nga atong nagian ang ganti nga atong madawat mas labaw pa mas labaw pa kay sa mga kasakit nga ato ang nagian so uh, waiting for the lord is uh, is something nga atong pamalandungan nga ang atong yung kayahon by by the grace of God kay ang ganti o ang balos mga igsuon dubli dubli pa kayo sa tanan right and we are not actually kanang marabita atong gi what is it gi undervalue na to kaning waiting yes in fact ang atong author uh, pinagi usab sa pagbasa sa paggamit sa memory text na to iya gi gihulagway sa to ang uh, ganing ingon siya nga the greatest stresses in life is the stress of waiting mm-hmm. so uh, I mean to say 
marabitog uh, kaba nakabahay na gitni sa tong human experience nga in many ways na himo kini nga dako kay nga hagit sa tong kinabuhi morning uh, in in the course of waiting I, i i believe that it's very important for us by looking into our lesson kung asa na to i-anchor yes ang atong paghimo sa paghulat mm -hmm. kay depende kung asa na to nag-i-anchor it will actually mm -hmm. affect no either it will add more stress mm -hmm. sa atong paghulat or ma-relieve ta bisan naagi stress di gyud nato na maingon nga walay stress sa paghulat naagi na siya yung mga stresses kay labi na gyud nga dugay mabot mm -hmm. di ba doctor Elvin kana bitang manguyab ka di ba uh, sa hay kana ampo ka sa Ginoo nga ta matagaan jo kag ani or ana or ani nga lalaki or ana nga babae mm. nga pila na katuig nga imong gihulat wa pagyapon nga but so maka create na siya og doubt di ba mm. kay imo mang gi imo man ang gibungat sa buhi nga Dios nga imong ginauna makahatag ka nimo og solusyon sa imo nga sa imong mga mga imong gipangayo but all of us i mean in the process of time taas taas nga panahon Wag gapo ni wala gapo na abot sa imong mga kamot so yes. maka cost talaga sa stress mm -hmm. di ba uh, so but then i, I think uh, mo nang inyo bitta sila doctor Elvino kanang waiting daw it's not really about time okay dili gina siya kay kung tanawon mo ni mo ang time i mean makon ka ba kana bitang masana ma, kanang ma confine ka sa mm -hmm. time Kay for example, may kanang ginaw nga haduol na lang ang pagbalik. Yes. So kung imuni mo ang time, no, nga mauna ang imong point of reference gyud sa imong pagulat kay imong nabal-an nga haduol na gyud ang pagbalik. So mahimo na siya nga in most cases, mahimo mm -hmm. usahay nga kon ba? Mahimo usahay nga murag makadaut na ka or makanuna ka pa or bisan sa asa nga mga butang nga ikaw magahulat, di ba? So ingon sila, it's not about time but actually it is a quality of human experience. So, niya na dahil siya nga, kung mulat dahil ka nga be of good carriage, di na dahil ka kauna-una sa time. Kay tungod, <coughs> ang naan na sa imo is, ang pag-waiting, nahimo na siya nga, nahimo na siya nga ka, di ka, kalidad ba? Mm -hmm. Sa imo nga human experience. So, kanang point sa time, murag, Oh, si siguro naman pero dili na siya primary sa imong pangunaw na. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think the Dili na kasi tanan rilo, di ba? Yes, okay. ang, ang idea siguro yeah. nga kanang uh, waiting with with courage. Okay. The idea is uh, living in the in the uh, kanang magkinabuhi ka nga uh, nagsalig sa Ginoo while nagpaabot ka siya. So mura ba og kanang nagpaabot ka pero you are joyfully Uh, waiting for His coming, mm -hmm. we are joyfully working for for the Lord while waiting for Him. Koy na mga idea o na itik sa Bible nga nagingon nga occupy till I come. Mm, right. So dili so, idol. Yes, dili idol. Sa to pa while you are waiting, dili ni siya mahimo nga idol kay you are working uh, joyfully. You are living with with trust in God nga while you are waiting, your life is. Uh, doing uh, productive uh, things para sa right. honor and glory sa ato nga Ginoo. So, mm -hmm. gini nga waiting, gi sulti man sa no lesson nga dili ni siya idol waiting. Kun dili uh, idol uh, kun dili waiting ni siya nga uh, fruitful nga waiting tungod kay we are also doing the mission of God. Mm, okay. So meaning to say kung Kay nagisigot mo gud siya og transformation no. Yes. So unique ni siya nga kind of waiting kay mm. maka-transform mo kasing kasing. So ang resulta na sa transformation is missional gyapon sa mm. Dr. Elvin no. So, yes, mala, yes, yes, yes. So mara sa gingon nga dili ginato malikayan nga while waiting ato gyapon ipadayag sa mga katawhan nga naga naga search sa ani nga mga nga mensahe, mm. mensahe sa pag <coughs> sa paglaom nga ato ato kini mapaabot no so dili siya idol dili siya idol waiting kay kay sumala pod sa diba tong dili sa tong lesson na gisugot may tungod sa experience sa mga disciples nga nakita nila si Kristo nga nibayaw na yes. sa langit no? sa Acts no chapter 1 4 to 11 at sa tong lesson naguol sila kay unsa na lang mitabo nila <laughs> yes. which is correct diba kanabit na mabianda sa tong amahan mm -hmm. 
Tapos labi na gyo, wata ka balak kung kalunsa sa mo balik, labi na sa, no, I'm sorry, no, I, I, I salot sa itong mga, mga mahan nga nasa sundalo, di ba? Nasa yes, yes. military. Ngayon say, ma, pag mo lakaw na sila, di na to, wata ka balak kung kalunsa na sila makabalik. Yes. Kung makabalik man, buhi pa ka na sila, or sa pa na, mm. nga klase nga pagkabalik. So, very unknown and very uncertain. So, the waiting becomes more intense. Yes, yes, yes. So, pero matingala ka, no? Nga, so, ay sana nga mga hulag ko ay makita natin sa salida or mabasa natin sa mga o ba niyo mga artikulo or libro, no? Kana bitang masurprise sila nga wala sila nag-expect nga maabot dahi ang ilang ipaabot. Yes. O nga, labi na giyod nga ang mga kabataan ay mo sila nga maminatod on. Na, na faithful sila sa Ginoo, no? Gi alimagid sa spouse, ang mga kabataan while the other spouse wala diha na he was assigned on duty mm -hmm. somewhere. So comes the experience of joy mo siguro na sa Thursday. Yeah. <coughs> there is always kanang the, the, joy, the experience of joy, you know? Nga mo abot gyud sa sa atong paghimo sa paghulat. Kay otherwise, what's the point of waiting? Yes. So, kung if kundlita magisgot may tungo sa joy that comes in the morning, as the the aftermath, no? Wala sa sulta sa tao pagulat. Ano ba? Ano ba may pulos? Kung example wala na 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 banaw si Kristo. Ano ba? What's the point of kana waiting? And then what's the point of sharing the gospel? Yeah. Our our preaching is in vain. Kuno la si Jesus na resurrected. Unya sa dehang na resurrected siya, mo to dako gyud kayo nga kalipay nga nakita sa mga disciple nga nabuhi si Jesus. So na na paid off ang ilahang mga pagduha-duha na na wala ang ilang mga kasakit, ang ilang pain. Nya karon buhi dai ang Ginoo. Ang nagpe-figure po ni siya sa sikan coming ni Jesus. Nga Si Jesus mo kam mo ani na dalon tang tanan dito sa langit. So ingon ana ka ninut kayo niya. Of course ka sa process nga nagpaabot ta mo manay pa pait kayo. Pero tungod kay atong lesson nagpasantop nga this uh, waiting is not an idol as I try to 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 look back uh, tanaw na to ang lesson this uh, adlaw nga Thursday ninut ta puni siya pastor right, uh, right. because this is uh, bringing in the shelves. So the, this idea, another pun siya nga, uh, another pun siya nga aspek sa ato nga lesson nga magrejoice ta, tungod kay ang ato nga paabot mura ba tao kanang nakadani? O oh, mura nga nanumta, ah. nga nanumta, unya sa diha nga gatanom ta, patiently nga ato nga timanan ang ato nga mga farm, Kita unya ang resulta. Hangtod nga pag abot sa panahon nga ting anina, na ato nang naani, grabe na ato nga kalipay. So bringing in the shelves, Sheesh. sa uh, shelves, ato ba, uh, nagpasabot ni siya nga, kana mga binangan nga mga trigo, uh, mga humay nga ginarab. So bringing in the shelves, ato pa imong tanahon, right, right. while we are waiting, we are really working for the Lord and harvesting people for, for His kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are preparing people for his return. Mm -hmm. This is bringing in the shelves. Right. So, and, and in this uh, uh, lesson, the agriculture is ang good now. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ito ganito makita din uh, this, ato, nga, this lesson, uh, Tuesday nga lesson nga, sa panahon sa tingulan dito sa dito sa dito sa south of uh, uh, Israel, uh, dito sa Negev region, mm -hmm. dun ay first rain, o na po yung second rain, uh, simbolik mong kainan sa itong uh, panglantaw, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kaya sa ilang uh, farming dito, magpaabot sila sa first rain, pero sa wala pagkaulan, ga ani na, o ga prepare na sa ground. Pag ulan, tanong na sa mga seeds. Right. Unya, pag tanong sa seeds, kinahanglan pa niya, alimahan nila, then nagpaabot na po sila ng second rain, aron nga maani nila, kay kung wala yung second rain, mamatay man ang mm -hmm. maong uh, tanom. <coughs> so, Ee, ato ni nga makita din okay. nga that there is this there is this uh, murag analogy nga ato nga makita diri nga while waiting for the Lord we must do like a farmer waiting uh, farming the ground na numta mga kegsunan and on the right time maharvest ni siya ug sa ato pod nga pagpaabot si Ginoo on his right time mubalik ang Ginoo rewarded da mm -hmm. so Ki, ang mga farmer po nga gatarbaho og insakto sa panahon nga ting harvest sa 
insakto yun nga panahon, mm. makaharvest po sila. So, yung mong tanaw ni, huwag ato ganun yung, uh, I try to connect this pa surpido at itong presentation na ito ang last uh, uh, Wednesday, mm. nga, the discipleship process can be, can be, But can be insert into this uh, oh, agriculture yeah. mm-hmm. na nananumta sa binhi sa kamaturan tapos sa timanon then at timanon siya then sa insakto yun nga panahon harbison siya mm-hmm. kay kon ikat short ni mo nang pag pagkuan sa trigo yeah, will, yeah. Oh, dili na siya pwede yeah. na, uh, i think na, correct correct that's yeah. good yeah okay. so, so dili ni mo siya ikat short mm-hmm. sa mara po di sa i think it's also here in our lesson nga ang usa ka inahan nga nagbati siya unya mga nakita yeah, right. sa insakto nga panahon that's a very good idea no? so uh, that, that, that's why sa tanan nga mga butang atong pagahimoon while waiting for the lord importante gining kanag yung patience ba patience yes. just like what you said nga kung aduna may proseso nga uh, just like sa gigamit din ng analogy yes, or agriculture me- or a uh-huh. metaphor let's uh-huh. say for example nga gigamit din ni is kanang imo gina siya nga timanon kay kanang magtanom ka mm-hmm. you start with the seed no yes. uh, kung unsa man ang mm-hmm. uh, imong pagahimoon or you start with the seedling mm-hmm. or whatever tanom ni mo imong timanon imong pagalantawon kay basic niya nakaaw na sa pisces oh, yes. okay or sprayhan nimo sprayhan nimo tapos uh, maghandom ka nga unta maulanan man mm-hmm. kay kailangan mo siya putol until such time nga uh, kung mo musulod ni sa sani nga proseso of course mo expect yun ka ni mong harvest mayo yun yeah bountiful yun yun sa itong lesson so kung dili ka maka develop mo ka ng virtue sa wait, waiting just like what you said yes. last night there's a virtue which I agree dili dili ni mo ni makuan di ka maka kung ano maing harvest dili ka maka produce o kanyang mm. good harvest yeah so uh, I, yeah it's good nga mo din na siyang gi, gi, gi mention no nga kita mga dosahay kay ato motivation lahat mga dito yes 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 so ang tungod sa atong isip gis buta ato agabi so sayang man ato ni sa naapil kagabi nga kung maangkla depende dahil kung asa maangkla ang atong motivation sa paghulat mm-hmm. it will really affect the way we kanang the way we wait bita on something yes. nga mo abot or maabot na to or makaabot na dito So it's either we cut it short or we, we just have to stay patient and to earn carriage para lang yun nga ato yun nga makita ang kaning good harvest yes. ato pagulat. Yes, yeah, diba? that's so. So I think it's a it's a good lesson for all of us kay Usahay. Ingan yung mga guta, kita nga mga tao mapungot tayo yeah. sa paghulat. <coughs> Gusto na ito nga, kaya nabit ang pagkadato. In, instant ba? Instant, instant. instant. Hindi pa bisa kaning <coughs> pagka, kaning pagkaadunahan. Mm. Dili e, biyan siya nga ng kuhan. Shortcut. Dili shortcut. Mm. Dili po ni siya overnight. Kaya bisa kaya muna siyang i-shortcut, tanawa sa mga experiences sa mm. uh, nahitabo sa itong mga, uh, around yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, makita mo na ito na, no? kanang they didn't know how to handle their money. That's true. Uh, the, the moment nga nakagulit na sila, o oh, gana ka na kong mm-hmm. kandidat nga, wala nila nagulitan sa sukat-sukat sila, kinapoy, because instansya. So, it's the same thing nga mahitabo ng Japon. Pero kung niagid yung kasasakto nga proseso, you start from little things, mm-hmm. tapos, sige pa rin kamutanin mo, step by step. So, you value it ba? Yeah. So, ang nagpasopido, yes. no? Okay. Malitan, ang atong mga asawa, mm-hmm pagkaburos nila, pwede ba na ipakataon nila o five right. months? Oh. Dili, Dili yun. Mulat yun ka. Mulat yun ka o nine months. Oh, oh. Yung ipakataon na nimo o seven months, kaya mabuhi naman mm-hmm. siya, mm-hmm. pero mag-incubate yun ka na. Mm-hmm. So, y- dako kayo ang imong pagsapir. Right, right. So, sa yung auto ng tanahon sa program na to sa church, sa global mission sa church, sa discipleship program, kung sundo ni siya nga proseso, nga sa ato nga discipleship program, si Madilisim program, so doon yun nato ni siya sa gitundo nato sa church sa discipleship, tamna nato sa pulong si Ginoo, ato silang suuron, tunduan yun sa tanan nga kamaturan, dahil sa diha nga makita na nato nga ng Holy Spirit, gawork na sila ha, niya, ready na sila nga, nagpractice na sila sa Osaka uh, Adventist lifestyle, o ilan na ang gikinabuhian ang uh, ingon nga follower ka ni Jesus, so pag baptize ni mo, leg on kayo na. Mm. Mupadayo na isa sa pagalagad. Ginulture ni mo sa wapan, mabautis mo han. Pag umabautis mo, gipadayon nga, magpadayon sila nga faithful. So, right. ang process diri ato makita, 
pagkanin doon yung kayo using the agriculture method, bringing in the shelves. So, meaning to say, although sometimes makikita tayo mo rin, ato nakita nga nasaksid na, pero actually in reality, wala yun tayo nasaksid. Wala tayo may saksid. So, I think... Because the harvest is not is not ripe. Palero ko nang mungan ka o mangga nga di pa hinog, umalang-alang na sa numbers of days, ang hinog anak dili tamis. So, that's a good analogy. So, siguro po, kanang dili po siguro in the intention nga ma-measure atong quality, but kanang atong pagtrabaho ba? Tama ba? Right, right? Tama ba, Dr. Elvin? Kay, of course, kanang quality, mo resulta naman po na siya. Yes. It's not for us to create that nga kita gay mo create ng quality nga result. Kasi siguro ang importante lang, sumalas at just like what you said nga analogy nga gamit din sa itong lesson is, kanang giyon sa pito na ito paggamit atong time while yes. waiting. <clears throat> so, if it is done in a very kanang wonderful way, of course, uh, in, in most cases, mo resulta na yeah. sa maayong uh, Kay ang, 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 ang process yun right. siya, ang process siya, pariya sa nagburos, pariya sa right. pagtanom na sa mais, pariya sa pagtanom na sa trigo. Mm. Kung makulang na siya sa adlaw, imo na harbison sa dili pa mao ang panahon, resulta dili gina mao. Mm. Maglungag ta, uniawa pa kayo na igulag pagbukal ato ng palungon na yun ang kuhan. Di mahilaw lata. So pagkaon na ito, dili yun siya mao. So, So, uh, uh, this uh, kining at Tuesday lesson, grabe yun siya nga, nagpahinumdum na to nga, ang pagdala na to sa mga uhay dito sa ato nga, sa ato nga tabungos, o sa ato nga budiga, kinahanglan nga insakto yun siya, kay matahop man nun niya, inuuntukon, <laughs> dili may insakto sa pagani, di ba? Mahal, mahal, delikado rin nun. But that, that's a very good point nung uh, you brought that, uh, at least na, you brought that out sa itong discussion, nga Dili na, I mean, dili na tamay mo tanga defensive bitaw. Ay, no, no, no. Okay, kung mo ko tanga defensive about kay, o sa'y bisa kita may experience yan diyan ato na, no? Na yung mga butang ginabay mo na tutungod kay, na yung mga considerations nga nakita ato ng murag, murag mahal kansita kundi ato yung moon. So, we are forced to do such thing. Yeah. So, just like what you said, we do the shortcut ba? Yes. Many times. Many times, no? Sa mga, dili lang sa, dili lang sa atong ibang dilis. In many aspects ato nga kinabuhi. Because we want to have an instant. Instant. Pero ang instant o sa hay, dili na mahimo nga quality. Mura na siya. Nagi siya consequence. No, na siya consequence. Hopefully, nga ka na pag instant na to, mo resulta o gmayo, pero most often kay wala na sulod sa proseso, mapublima ta. Okay. So, again, no, kanang may ngunta, quality is, I think it first refers to kaning the quality of how we do Yes. Kanang our responsibility while waiting for something that we work for in this case yes I like your point quality of how you how you do things especially kisah tong pagulat nato sa ginoo so in all things just like what you said sa tanan ng mga kaptangan sa mga butangan yung na involved with labi negit sa pag sabog sa mayang balita kaya yan mga mga natong mission that's the word of patience nga pasinsya yun ta sa magpasinsya yun ta sa atong discipleship program magpasinsya yun ta sa atong tanom nga muog yun siya ang muog yun siya atong baton dili sa atong lesson sa Friday Paso na yun di our Lord our Lord's command to wait on Him is impossible is an impossible one unless He has done His work in us through through the Holy Spirit. No amount of human enthusiasm will ever stand up to strain that we think will impose upon our frail self. So, yeah, you said that ang patient ba? Bisa ka na ang real ng word ng patient ng refer sa tao ng nasa hospital? Dili ka magbuot sa doktor. You know, patient. Oh, that's wrong. Pag ko sa doktor nga... Muni, sundo na to. Sundo ni mo. I mean, makagawas ka, let's say, ang mga siguro, one week pa. Dili ka, nagkaingon nga, Dok, pwede na ako makagawas two days after sa imong gihimong nga procedure sa ko. Dili na siya pwede. Pwede, pwede. Kaya, doktor, yan ang nakita nga, the moment kaya na i-shortcut, dako kayo na nga consequence nga... Or, or sana nga lang mga tulubagon niya yung ato bangon. So, muna nga bitaw nga ang pasinti, kitawag na siya nga patient. Okay, dapat makakamalern yung ka nga 
maminaw yun kasi mong doktor. <laughs> Kaya kung dili ka maminaw, yeah. uh, eh, may nga mo na doktor. Sige, ikaw na lang mong doktor. Hard headed ni nga. Nga pasyente ni. So very good. No? So anyway, we have a very, very good lesson. No? So muna makagsunan. I, I think, no, I believe nga overall, ang pinaka-essential gid niya aspect sa itong lesson is bisan pa dili lamang sa libro sa Sam. Yes. Sa kinatibukan nga libro sa itong gitawag na itong Biblia, mawag yun yung pinaka-essence. Yeah. Kaya bisan pa ang Book of Revelation nga mong katapusan yung libro sa no. kwan. Wait, ang, no. wait and then mm. coming, no? Yes. So, magulat ka tungkol kay, just like what you said, natay ginapaabot mm. ang pagbalik sa itong buhay ng Diyos. In fact, ilagway na lang sa itong Thursday's lesson, nga kana siya, kana nga adlaw, mo nang itawag na itong joy, mm -hmm. nga itong ma-experiensyahan nga maabot sa kabuntagon. Yes. Joy that will come actually in the morning. So, nindot kayo nga mga kaisuna, no? Nga, nga lisod, dili po niya sa sayon, wala po na ito ginabaliwala ka ng pag-wait, dili po tayo kaingon nga, ah, sayon naman na, di po, di po, di po, di po, di po, It's a very, very kind of tough nga, nga, nga butang atong pagay mo. That is why, gingon si David nga, be of good courage. Kaya hindi sa yun. Pero the need of this, God will strengthen us. Yes. Kaya kabalo man siya nga, maluya juta. That's right. Maluya juta. So, thank you very much, Dr. Elvin. Wala tayo igong nga panahon. We'll we'll be looking forward sa bago na po nga nga quarters sa alang sa atong bago nga lesson. Lesson, no? Nga. Nindot kayo nga nag-isigot may tugon. I think the great conclusion. Yes, by Mark Finley. By Mark Finley. So yeah. so, I, I, I agree that I'm so excited. I'm excited to, to start this lesson starting next week with, with Dr. Elvin. And we'll see how this lesson will actually touch us. Uh, will inspire us sa atong pag-alaga niya sa buhay na itong mag-inom. So, daga salamat pang sunan. Uh, ako ngayon si Dr. Elvin Salarda sa pag-atag sa pag before we proceed to the next part sa itong program din sa Hope Channel uh, worship or live worship thank you lord for you are with us in our lesson discussion the summary and we pray that what we have discussed it will help us grow to be faithful to you in waiting until you come mm -hmm. bless your people who are following this program and our friends who are following this program that we can learn from your words and make us ready before you come in mm -hmm. jesus name i pray amen Okay, mga igala, back sa atong in charge, sa atong ginahimo din ng Youth Summit. God bless us all.
Let's bow down our heads for our word of prayer. Amo ikang gitoboy o Diyos ni ining kabuntagon ni ining adlang kapahulay tungod kay ikaw man ang among dalang panan. Salamat ginoo sa kalampusan sa uh, mga lektoras ng among nadunggan karon sa mga pulong nga nakahimo o pagpadasig alang sa matag sa kanamo. Samtang usab kami magapadayon sa pag Simba ka ni mo ni ning adlaw ipapahulay. Among gihangyo ang imong balaang presensya nga magasulod sa among kasing-kasing. Aron madasig kami sa among agalagad o pagtuo kanimo. Aron kami maggamit sa imong bulato ni ning kalibutana samtang kami nagahulat sa imong pagbalik. Kining tanan amo ang gi pasalamatan tungod lamang sa ngalan ni Ginoong Hesus nga among bugtong og personal nga maluluwas. Amen. Jesus Christ died and shed his blood for us and in that there is power that we, if we believe in him right and with that today as we're going to sing power in the blood let us sing together would you be free from your burden there's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is far, far wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is far, far wonder working power in the precious.
our next song, we know jud no kabalug yud ta kung unsa gud ka maayo sa atong Ginoo. And even ganik makita nato ang gagmay mga bata or bisan ang roses kay napuno siya og thorn pero naagyapon siya maanindot og wapad kay nga mga bulak. Diha nato makita nga ang Ginoo grabe yud siya ka mighty, no? Ug diha nato makita, diha niya giprove no sa nature ug sa bisan kinsa sa ato ah, nga grabe gyud siya ka maayo ug grabe siya kahalang don. And for our next song, we will sing I sing the mighty power of God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day, the moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. Word and then pronounce them good. Lord, how thy wonders are displayed. Where will I turn my eye? If I survey the ground I tread, or gaze upon the sky, there's not a plant or flower below but makes the glories known. By order from thy throne, creatures that borrow life from thee are subject to thy care. There's not a place where we can flee, but God is present there. We are living in this chaotic world. Um, full of pains, problems, and tribulations, but we are excited to see our King someday. For our next song, let's sing, I Shall See the King.
Ing ana happy sabat uh, to everyone. Padahon sa to ang intercessory prayer uh, atong gi request ang ato nga makaigsodan if we have our individual prayer or thanksgiving and any kind of prayer for the sick and for healing. Uh, let us bring it to the Lord uh, while we are kneeling in prayer. So akong ihangiyo ang tanan sa pagluhod alang sa ato ang pagampo. Mahikog ba ang Diyos at naikaw sa turno sa mga langit nining taknaamahan sa dapit sa kabuntagon at iya kami nagaduol sa turno sa imong kaluoy dili tungon kami mga ngayan o takos apan tungon ka ikaw ginoon Diyos maayo sa mong kinabuhi Salamat amahan nga imong ipabati ka na mo ang gugman ni Gunesos araw nga amo usap kini nga masyer nga to sa uban Dini nga panahon sa pag-ampo, imo nakita ang ginoong Diyos ang among kasing-kasing, imo nakita ang amo ang pagpasalamat tungod sa mga dagko o katingalahang mga butang nga imong gihimo sa among kinabuhi. O gani ni taknaa sa kabuntagon, ani a ang imong katawhan kay imong gitawa gikan sa kahibulong kahayag. O dini nga panahon na nagahimo kami sa amo ang hiniusa ng pagpag-ampo. Palagina ginoong Diyos ang imong katawhan sa tibok kalibutan na samtang magasimba kami sa Espiritu o sa kamatuuran, mapuno kami sa balaang Espiritu o ang among kasing-kasing sa karunay, magabuhat sa mga bulahatun ng imong ipiyal kanamo sa papagandam sa katawhan. Labi na ginoong Diyos sa imong hadool ng pag-anhe. Amo sa biyapilis pag-ampo ni Taknaa ang matag-concern sa among kinabuhi, managlahi man o Diyos ang mga sitasyon sa among panginahanglan Apa nagatuo kami ginoong Diyos nga ikaw mao ang ginoo nga magatubag sa unsa sama na ang naa sa mong kasing-kasing. Nagatuo kami nga ikaw ang Diyos nga adunay kusog o adunay katakos nga imuhang panalanginan ginoong Diyos bisan pa ang matagusan na mo ang kamapaginahanglan. Ang uban karun amahan na sa mga balatian sila panglawas, wala magkato sa simbahan, tungod sa ilaha mga sakit, ako naghihangyo ginoong Diyos. Nga ikaw magahikap sa ilang kinabuhi, aron nga sila mamaayo sa ilang langwaston o spirituhanon o magabalik sila ginoong Diyos sa pangalagad nga naka ni mo. Ang upanong sa ginoong Diyos, wala makanto sa mga tambalanan tungod kay kulang ilang pinansyal. Ako naghihangyo amahan, nga imo silang pakitaan sa imuhang lahom, aron nga ang ilahang kinabuhi mamaayo o magkaparayan sila ginoong Diyos sa pangalagad nga ni mo nga doon ay pagkamalipayon. Amahan ng balaan, nintak na sa kabuntagon, hinaut-unta ng kini ng mga pag-ampo, o ang pag-ampo sa pagkaigsunan, mag-aabot diha sa imong trono sa imong kalooy, o mag-abalik kini ng Diyos, nga doon ay duble o pilo-pilo ng patalangin, nga ilang na sinati silang kinabuhi, nga sila na patalanginan, silang panglawas, na patalanginan ilang mga pagtuo, o nakabaton sila amahan, o walipayon ng pinoyanan, tungod kay ikaw o Diyos ang karunay, nagagiya sa ilang kinabuhi sa matagadlaw. O Diyos nga balaan, salamat kayo. Nga ninyong taknaa, among ibalik, ang himaya, ang dungog, pagpasalamat, diyan lamang sa imong buhay ang ngalan, sa wali katapusan, kaya mo kinigyan po sa ngalan ng Yesus, nga atong personal, o bugtong manulawas. Amen and Amen. Dagang salamat sa matahom nga pag-ampo, Pastor Hamoy. Ingon pa sa Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Happy Sabbath ka na itong tanan, mga kaigsunan. Murag hinay man. Happy Sabbath ka na itong tanan. I think, ganahan mo sa usual na itong greetings. Mayong buntag ka na itong tanan. And of course, ang atong pagpanimbaya, apil usab sa atong mga kahigalaan, mga kapaglaom, nga nagtanaw sa atong uh, live karon sa Facebook and YouTube, mayong buntag diha kaninyo. O sa atong mga kaigsunan, 
dito sa side sa South Cotabato sa mga igsuon na tong Tebuli, Few Flafos Vele Tikoy Kwadag de Masichwali. O sa atong mga kaigsuunan nga nausap sa bukid nun, basing nagtanaw mo ka ron, ah, Mopian Masulum Kanta Ulin Mga Sulon. Ang ato karon mga kaigsuunan nga katiguman na himong espesyal. Ang pagsimba nato sa Dios ginahimo nato ni siya sa pag-uli sa dungog o gimaya ng Adukania. Apan sugod atong Merkules sa gabi, hangtod karon o hangtod unyang hapon, nahimo kani nga mabungahon o madaugon alang sa Youth Ministries Department sa Southwestern Philippine Union Conference tungod sa daghang mga butang atong nakatunan o na-accomplish In just few days, nga nasayod ko nga aduna kani dako nga ipikto alang sa kalambuan sa atong buhatan sa Youth Ministries Department ilaom sa pagdumala ni Pastor Jennifer Joy Coligado. So on behalf sa Southwestern Philippine Union Conference and the Youth Ministries Department, gina-welcome ang tanan sa atong pagsimba. And of course, no, uh, on behalf usab sa Uh, SPUC Garden Church SWPUC Garden Church atong gina welcome ang atong mga guest karong adlawa and we have here uh, from Australia no usa sa atong mga speakers we have here Mr. Colin Hon ato tingaling patindugon would like to ask uh, sir sir Colin if you're around can you please stand so that our brethren could recognize you Ah, si Sir Colin? Wala pa Sir Colin, no? Basi nagandam pa to. Okay. And with that, uh, with him is his friend and his churchmate also from Australia. Uh, Brother Stuart Jackson. Basi na sila dari. And of course, together with him is his wife, Ma'am Lily Jackson. Gikan ni siya sa South Cotabato. No, na nakaroon sa Australia. Una sila ato silang patindugon. Okay. And of course, ato pong gina-welcome ang gikan sa Mountain View College. No other than Pastor Dan Namania. Naman sa diri sa Luyo, unya naman siya ay bahin makita ninyo mga kaigsunan. And then of course, together with him, with Pastor Dan, is his wife, Mrs. Sherry Joy Namania kauban sa ilang mga kabataan. Na si Ma'am Joy, Ma'am Sherry, na Atong patindugon si Ma'am Sherry, basig na po dito sa mga, kwan, dito sa atong, uh, sa mga children's, uh, kwan, section. Okay, and of course, atong gina-welcome, Pastor Ron Hinibago with Mrs. or Ma'am Jen Hinibago from Southern Asia Pacific Division. Ang atong uh, youth director, mga kaigsuunan dito. So, gina-welcome ang tanan and pasalamatan nga natay mga guest karong adlawa nga naghatag og kanindot sa atong panagtigom but anyway before i take my seat aduna lang koy uh, importante kaayo nga uh, pahibalo sa tanan ang giingon dire sa mensahe alang kanisya sa tanang senior citizen sa home and family ministries of our garden church aduna daw moy meeting unya nga alas tres sa hapon dito sa mother's room o gwa gigikalimtan diri sa announcement nga dunay free snacks ang inyong panagtigom nagingon si sister white sa education page 271 with such an army of workers as our youth rightly trained might furnish how soon the message of a crucified reason and soon coming savior might be carried to the whole world og mao kanisya ang katuyuan mga kaigsuunan sa atong katiguman karon so atong iuli sa Dios ang dungog og himaya tungod sa kadaugan karong adlawa og mangutana mo kinsay mga participants karon nga divine worship i-flash lang tingani sa ato nga screen mga kaigsuunan but on behalf of the staff we would like to welcome you to our worship god bless everyone
for our hymn of adoration, let us sing All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. Heavenly Father, our great shepherd, we will never cease to praise your name. And we will shout your greatness and faithfulness while eternity rolls. You are worthy of our worship. You are worthy of our honor and service. And as we worship you this morning, Forgive us our sins and shortcomings. And may your Holy Spirit be in our hearts, in our midst, so we'll all come out from this worship having a heart comforted and strengthened by your word. In Jesus' name, amen. May I request everybody to please sit down. While the deacons and deaconesses will remain standing, as the deacons and deaconesses will be ready to receive your tithes and offering. But first, I am going to read to you the text that's found in Leviticus chapter 27, verses 28 and 30. It says in New King James Version, Nevertheless, no devoted offering that a man may devote to the Lord of all that he has, both man and beast, or the field of his possession, shall be sold or redeemed. Every devoted offering is most holy to the Lord. Verse 30, And all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. And our brothers and sisters, the deacons and the deaconesses are ready to receive your tithes and offering.
Dalaygon ka og amo kang gisimba o Dios labaw sa tanan sa tibok namong kinaboy tungod kay ikaw ang ayan simbahon og alagaran Nining takna o Dios dako kay among pagpasalamat sa kadagaya sa grasya panalangin nga imong gibobo sa matag usa ka namo ug bugti niini o Dios ani ang amo nga mga haladugi ka pula among iuli nga na kanimo o panalangin ang matag usa o Dios Diha sa ilang tibok kinabuhi nga mabat na namo ang kadasigon o kainiton labi na diha sa pag-apil sa imong bulhaton. Salamat sa pagbubo sa panalangin, grasya sa matag pamilya, sa matag usa nga na gapaminaw ni ining takna. Salamat kaayo gyud Dios sa imong pagbubo sa panalangin ni ining adlaw balaan nga among gikalipay ka usahan tungod sa ngalan ni Hesus nga manluluwas. Amen. Good morning and happy Sabbath. The center of our message this morning is found in the book of Psalms 23 verse 4. If you have your Bibles with you, you can open it with me. I'll be reading it in uh, the New King James Version. It says here, Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This is a time when we are going to seek the Lord in prayer. So let me invite you to kneel with me if you are able. And let's pray together. Loving Father in heaven, we praise you. We thank you because of who you are. Lord, your word helps us to know that you are always with us. And though we can't see you with our naked eyes, but what a joy to know that right now you are here with us, O oh Lord. You are our God, you are our creator. And the Sabbath reminds us of that. Father, what a privilege, what a joy to be in your house on this Sabbath day. To worship you, to praise you, to thank you for the great things that you have done for us, O oh Lord. We thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus who has died for us, who has saved us, and who will come someday to take us home. We thank you, Lord, that we can trust you with all our burdens, with all our needs, 
knowing that you know us even better than we know ourselves. Father, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you for so many answered prayers, for so many blessings that we can't even count all of them. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that in the moments of our struggle and pain and suffering, we thank you that you are always there. That even when we may not understand some situation that we face in our lives, we thank you that you do understand. So at this moment, Father, we come to you, committing ourselves in your hands. We pray that you will bless us in a very special way, Lord, as we worship you this morning. We remember our brothers and our sisters who are going through so much pain and challenges that they're wondering, Lord, where are you? We pray that you'll be near to them. There are many who are not here. They are in the hospitals. They are sick. There are many who are facing different challenges. They have lost their loved ones. There are many who are going through mourning. There are many also who are here and they are suffering. We cannot know, but Lord, we thank you that you know and you see each one of us. We pray that you be nearer to each one, Lord. In a very special way, we want to mention and to lift up before you our sister Ira and Aya, Daihan, Daiham, they are right now admitted at Polymedic Plaza. May your holy angels attend to them, Lord. And we pray that by your power, you will make them well. Bless the doctors who are attending to them and all the medications that they are using. And in the end, we pray, Lord, that they will be able to be restored in their good health and join us again to praise you and to glorify your name. Lord, we thank you in a very special way that you're going to speak to us one more time through your servant, Pastor Henebago. You've blessed him and you have used him as he leads out and guides by your grace all the young people throughout this wide division. Empower him this morning again as he speaks together with his wife. And through their message this morning, may we be drawn closer to you, O oh Lord. Thank you for your promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We stand upon this promise in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. the prize. 
were so confused the one who we abused for the world that needs mercy and the truth that makes us free there's forgiveness and cleansing at the cross Church. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Before I introduce our speaker, I would like to thank him first for his full support in the youth ministries here in the Southwestern Philippine Union Conference. Pastor Ron and Mom Geneva, thank you so much. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation to be our guest speaker in our Youth Leadership Summit. You know, your presence is highly appreciated to our youth here in the Southwestern Philippine Union Conference. Brothers and sisters, our speaker has served as an instructor at the Adventist University of the Philippines. He is a pastor, a former Communication and Youth Director in the Central Luzon Conference and North Philippine Union Conference. He completed his PhD in Old Testament in Ayas in May 2022. He has also written a book of Voice of Youth Empowering the Youth for Evangelism. Our speaker envisions healthy young people who are enjoying a saving relationship with Christ, loving the scriptures as their standard of living to reflect a Christ-like character. Our speaker, passionate in serving the church and communities, using their God-given spiritual gifts, and vigorously fulfilling the gospel commission in the power of the Holy Spirit. His wife is Geneva, and they have two sons, Vaughn and Harold. Brothers and sisters in Christ, our speaker, our very own youth servant of Southern Asia Pacific Division, 
Pastor Ron Henibago. Thank you very much, Pastor Jennifer, for that kind introduction. And thank you for your leadership here in SWPUC. Blessed Sabbath, redeemed people of Christ. May our hearts, our mind, our thoughts, our spirit, our whole being be one with the 24 elders, with the holy angels there in heaven in serving and worshiping the Lord of the Sabbath. Shalom, shalom, reign in our hearts. Amen. So this morning, um, I, I'm really thankful to SWPUC uh, through the leadership of Pastor Juniper for giving us this opportunity, blessed opportunity, to serve our young people and all the rest of you this morning. But before uh, we proceed to the message, I'd like to promote something here on the screen. And it's uh, the upcoming events of the Southern Asia Pacific Division. One is uh, this uh, SSD Young Professionals Bible Lands Tour. Uh, Egypt, uh, Jordan, and Israel on September 10 to 25, 2024. And I hope our coordinator, uh, B-Boy, will... We will we'll go there uh, and all the rest of our young professionals. And also we have this uh, SSD-wide uh, convention 2024, Master Guide Convention in Malaysia on October 3 to 7. And we have the theme, Rebuild the Altar. Rebuild the Altar. So we want our Master Guides who are shepherds to adventurers and uh, pathfinders to be uh, equipped empowered and rebuild the altars uh, the, the altar so they can serve the Lord better and on uh, one year from now we have the SSD white Pathfinder Camp 2025 April 14 to 20 in Mountain View College so this will be the venue uh, MBC will be the venue of our Pathfinder Camp 2025. And the theme is the same, rebuild the altar, focusing on Elijah as our key person for this uh, Pathfinder Campery. So the topic that we, uh, we would like to share with you is, we will not fear. And I'd like to sh uh, ask my wife to read this passage for us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. I know many of you uh, memorize this chapter. And I know you know this by heart. But probably uh, you can see some lights as we uh, share with you this in the context of leadership to our young people. And uh, before we, we leave these three verses, you can see that there is the highlighted word. What word is highlighted here? Lord. Lord. And in Hebrew, it is Yahweh. When you see in your Bible, capital L-O-R-D, that is a translation of Yahweh. Y-H-W-H. So you can see that uh, the Lord is present here in first few verses of Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. You can see a negative to uh, tone of Psalm 23 in verse 4. And can you see the name Lord or Yahweh there? Is there the word Lord or Yahweh? There is none, right? During the time that the psalmists are experiencing walking through the valley of the shadow of death, the word Lord is not present there. Have you experienced that? That 
when there are moments that you are experiencing challenges and troubles, God seems to be distant. God seems to be far away from you. And we can ask, Lord, where are you during this time, during this moment? So the name Lord is not there, but you have the highlighted phrases there. I will fear no evil for you. Who is that you? Who is that you? The Lord. So during that darkest moment in the life of David, of the psalmist, when he cannot see, he couldn't see the hand of the Lord, he said, he exclaimed, for you are with me. Amen? Amen. It is inviting us that during our darkest moment in life, when we, have, when we are facing challenges, we can exclaim, Lord, you are with me. And that is faith. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay. Can you see the word Lord again? So during those moments that are light, you know, we can see the Lord there. But during the times of darkest moment, it seems that God is far away. Now, this chapter has encouraged the faith community for millennia to trust God. It teaches that there is no point in our lives in which God ceases to be our shepherd. Amen. There is no point in our lives that God ceases to be our shepherd. And if you have the Andrew's Bible with you, you can see that this is beautifully outlined using letter P. So you have the presence of the Lord in verse 1. You have the presence of the Lord in verse 6. You have the provision, restores, still waters. And then the, you have the provision in 4.6a, the oil, uh, and thou prepare. Uh, thou prepares for me a table, and then you have the paths, righteousness, and death. However, uh, I uh, added the word presence in letter C because the word let uh, the word you in chap in verse four is referring to the Lord. So God is present. God's presence is there during the time when we cannot see. His hand. The Lord is my shepherd in good times. The Lord is my shepherd in bad times. The Lord is my shepherd all the time. This is my personal outline of Psalm 23. And I hope uh, you'll be able to uh, understand this better. When I visited Pastor Joby Yabut, when he was in the, hus in, in the hospital because he was so sick, uh, and he talked to me. Uh, he was the previous youth director. And I share with him, him Psalm 23 that during his time when he was visiting the 14 countries of SSD, Bangladesh, Timor-Leste, Pakistan, Singapore, and all other countries, when he was, you know, happy and not sick, the Lord was his shepherd in good times. And even during the time when he was in the hospital, lying on bed because he, was, he got that cancer, the Lord was his shepherd in bad times. And he is now sleeping in death. And soon, when Jesus comes, the Lord will still be his shepherd all the time. Amen? So there is no point in your life and in my life that God ceases to be our shepherd. Now, as you can see here, yeah? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
So you can see here the green pastures, I shall not want, beside the still waters, He restores my soul. These are all positive, you know, notes that the Lord is our shepherd in good times. What were the good times in the life of David? Can you remember some good times in the life of David? When he was anointed king. He was, when he was anointed king. You know, when, they, when, when uh, Samuel was looking for a king, and there were several brothers presented before him, but he was not there. He was where? Shepherding somewhere. And then when he was presented, he, the Lord chose him, and he was anointed king. That was one of the uh, positive moments in the life of David. And what else? When he won many victories in battle. When he won victories uh, over Goliath. Do you remember that? Goliath, David and Goliath. He was so happy and during that time, the Lord was his shepherd. What else? When he fought against the lion and against the bear and he killed them both, the Lord was his shepherd. Please remember, help your mind to remember the times when the Lord was your shepherd in good times. Do you remember when you were uh, having good times with your friends, healthy, not sick? And uh, when you court a lady and you uh, have a good time and you became sweethearts and enjoying your relationship together? Uh, when, I, when I proposed to Jen, uh, when... Uh, because I met her in uh, a class, creative writing. So I saw her there. I was wearing shorts because I was leading a, the, the young minister's club. And we have sports fest during that time. And when I saw her, I said, uh, I want to know this lady more. And then I, create, I wrote her creative letters. And then I was member of, the, back then I was member of... Uh, Romans Club. But she was a member of MA, Ministerial Association Club. So I transferred my membership from Romans to Ministerial Association because I have no Romans there in, in the Romans Club. And I went to MA just to pursue her. And then when I decided, okay, this is the woman that I want to be with until Jesus comes, I brought her in near the College of Theology, under a langka tree, langka, what is, jackfruit tree, and knelt down before her, before her and having uh, ice cream, a cheesy flavor, cheese flavor, and asked her, uh, do you allow me to uh, prove that I love you? So, eh, and she said, Yes. So it was not official yet, right? Only permission to court her. And then I courted her until uh, the rest is history. So you remember those moments, light moments in your life, in your families, those husband, husbands and wives. Do you remember when you are, were still, you know, uh, just married? You remember, you know, you date, you had your honeymoon and you were so sweet. Uh, visiting uh, many places and countries. Those were moments that God was your shepherd. Amen? Amen. He was, she was your shepherd in good times. However, as you can see, in verse 4, the tone became a negative one. Please read it again. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, deep darkness or impenetrable gloom. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort you me. You see? Uh, while David was speaking of life in 1 to 3, verse 23, 1 to 3, here he was speaking of death. I, I, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and in Hebrew it's Translate, it is Chalmawet. In Hebrew, Chalmawet, it means deep darkness, 
impenetrable gloom. In Tagalog, pusikit na kadiliman. I don't know in Visaya. How can you translate the pusikit na kadiliman? Impenetrable gloom. Huh? It is like uh, total darkness. You cannot even see something in front of you. Total darkness. Whether it is literal darkness or metaphorical darkness, that it seems your life is hopeless. That nothing is before you. That all hope is gone. You cannot see a light at the end of the tunnel and you no longer see that it's still, you know, beneficial to live. David said, even though during that time, pusikit na kadiliman, impenetrable gloom, he said, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Amen? Amen. Last night, uh, yeah, uh, best, during Vespers, I showed you, uh, you know, a chart, state of the youth awareness, that there are some people who tried to hurt themselves three times, one time, five times. You know, those, you know, during that moment that it seems hopeless, please remember, that God is with you. You can say, Lord, you are with me. Can we say that all, all together? I will fear no evil, for you are with me. One, two, three. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Do you remember times of David when he was in impenetrable gloom? When he was um, in a conflict relationship with Absalom. Yeah, do you know his son, Absalom? Who are the sons of David? Solomon, right? And the other one was Absalom. What is the meaning of Absalom? It is a contraction of the word Abba, which means father, and Shalom, which means peace. Father of peace. He was looking for peace. From his son Absalom. But what did Absalom, Absalom bring to him? Chaos. What did he do? He dethroned David. And David was crying when he was going to the mountain to, uh, plead, to plea from his son. But of course, the Lord is with David and Ab. Salom, Abba Salom, Father of Peace, or Peace, yeah? Abba, Father and Peace. The source of peace became a source of chaos or trouble, and Abs Absalom died. Re hear the word of, of David's lamentation. O oh, my son Absalom, Absalom, my son, my son. How many times the word son is mentioned? Oh, my son, Absalom, Absalom, my son, my son. But if you include Absalom, Absalom two times, Oh, my son, Absalom, Absalom, my son, my son. How many times? Five times. Although he was so wicked, but David loved him the same. Amen? Because he cannot change that. He is his son. He was his son. And he was, he has this impenetrable gloom. But although that was his experience, he said, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Amen? Amen. What else? You know the story about Bathsheba, right? It is another story of deep darkness impenetrable gloom but in all of it David said I will fear no evil so it leads us to this lesson can you read that the Lord is my shepherd in bad times so the Lord is my shepherd 
in bad times. Can we say that all together? One, two, three. The Lord is my shepherd in bad times. What are your bad times now? I know you have bad times. You have challenges. You have problems. As husband and wife, we had good times and we have bad times. But in both times, the Lord was our shepherd. Amen? Amen. I know husband and wives, before you're so sweet and later on you became bitter. <laughs> or you adjust, you know each other. And there are moments of challenging, so way be situation in your life. Challenging you to stay together or to separate. But, you know, during that time, during those moments, you can exclaim, you can proclaim, the Lord is my shepherd in bad times. What are your bad times now, dear young people? Do you are, are you facing challenges right now? What are the impenetrable gloom, deep darkness that you are experiencing? The Lord is your shepherd in bad times. Amen? Amen. Now, here is the thing. Um, Jesus went through impenetrable gloom. Amen? Amen? Jesus went through impenetrable gloom, deep darkness when He died. When Jesus suffered on the cross, He cried. What was the cry of Jesus Christ? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, is Holy Week, right? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It's a cry. He got all our sins, past, present, and future, and He put all those sins on Him. And because of that, He was facing impenetrable gloom. He was used to be in the light, because he always seek the presence of God. Early in the morning, he will be found in a, sec in a secular, in a, in a place that is secluded, and he was praying. And even after his time of service with the crowd, with the multitude, he will be there living alone and pray. How many of you, dear leaders, after the event, you will stay in this place and pray? No. Most of the time, we want to run and go home. But Jesus Christ, after the event, after feeding the 5,000, He sent His disciples ahead of Him, and He remained there, thanking God, seeking the Lord. He was always in the presence of God. But during the time when He was on the cross, it was impenetrable gloom. There is no darkest part in your life that will be darker than what Jesus Christ experienced. Amen? Amen? Jesus Christ went ahead of you. He experienced that impenetrable gloom that maybe you are experiencing right now. But Jesus Christ went ahead of you already and He can save you in that pit darkness, in that impenetrable gloom because He has, he has gone, He experienced that for you already. Amen? Amen? So there is no point in your life, however dark it is, however heavy it is, however hopeless it is, that Jesus cannot help you. There is always hope in your life, in our lives. Even to the couples who are experiencing troubles in your relationship, there is light ahead of you. Only, only abide in Jesus. Meet at the cross. Those who are having trouble in relationship, meet at the foot of the cross. And you will find reconciliation. Amen? Amen. 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 Because Jesus Christ reconciled us to God. So He went through impenetrable gloom victoriously. Thus, we can be assured that we have a shepherd who can guide us through the shadow of death, deep darkness in impenetrable gloom. Although we often cannot see the light at the end of the dark tunnel, Jesus 
our shepherd is lovingly guiding us. He knows the way. Those who are watching online, there is hope in Jesus. There is light in Jesus. However dark your experience, experiences right now, if you are a student having problems in your home, abuse in your home, many things in your home, breakups in your relationship, there is hope for you. Stand up. Stand on your feet and exclaim, I will fear no evil for God is with me. For God is with me. Wow, the Lord is my shepherd in good times, in bad times. Death is a king of terrors, but not to the ship of Christ. Who is not afraid of dying here? You are not afraid of dying. Wow. So how many of you are not afraid of dying? Uh, I thought I was not afraid of dying until when I went to Sambuanga. Is it Sambuanga? Um, uh, yeah. Pastor, yeah. Sambuanga, right? When my plane was running 200 kilometers per hour and about to fly, and then suddenly the plane stopped. So the plane went like this, and we were all you know, silent inside. And there was coldness, you know, it was cold during that time. And I said to the uh, flight stewardess, uh, can you lead me? I want to, <laughs> to get down right away of this plane because they want to go. They want to proceed. And then I realized that I was not ready to die. <laughs> Even because if, before the plane you know, flies, I dedicate my life to God already. Lord, I am yours. So, but if we have the shepherd, that is a king of terrors, but not to the ship of Christ. Because we know that if we die, we will be resurrected. Be afraid to die when you are, in, when you are not in Christ. So, let's read this. Now King David was old, advanced in age, and they covered him with clothes, but he could not keep warm. The king bowed and said, as the Lord lives, who has redeemed my life from all distress. From all distress of David, he said, the Lord redeemed me. Yeah? I know we have many distresses in life. And I know you have many. But it is the Lord who will redeem us. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. All whose thoughts are fixed on you. This is what we need to do. We need to fix our eyes on God when we have problems, right? And if we do, we will have perfect peace. And perfect peace is? The phrase perfect peace in Hebrew is shalom, shalom. In Hebrew, it is shalom, shalom. It's not perfect peace. You cannot find it in Hebrew. Shalom, shalom. Can you say to your seatmate, shalom, shalom? Yeah. Shalom, shalom. That is a powerful word in Hebrew. A word pregnant with meaning. Shalom, shalom. And when it is doubled, it is powerful. Shalom, shalom. And the translators cannot find the right word to translate it. And they translated it, perfect peace. So you will have shalom, shalom. Despite the darkness in your life, if you focus your eyes, on him. Amen? Amen? If you focus your eyes on him. Wonderful. You will keep in shalom, shalom, all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. How many of you would like to have shalom, shalom, perfect peace in your life? Amen? And how you can have it? Trust in God as David did. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You need to be strong. And I, I know when David said it, it has really emphasis. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. 
Uh, you need to say that in your problem. Hey, problem, however big you are, I will fear no evil for God bigger than you is with me. Talk to your problems. Don't be overcome by your problems. Let God fight for you. During bad times, fix your eyes on God, our shepherd, and pray, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Then you will have shalom, shalom. Amen. So, this will be the last verse. The Lord is my shepherd. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah, goodness and mercy shall follow you. So if you make God, if you make Jesus your shepherd in good, ta- in good times and bad times, what will follow you? Goodness and mercy. mercy. Not Meralco bill, not you know, other bills, not debts, but goodness and mercy. All the days of your life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, what does it mean? The Lord is my shepherd forevermore. So, the Lord is our shepherd forevermore. And I'd like to read, and Jen will read to us, Revelation 7, to 13 to 17. And we will we'll see that even in heaven and in the new earth and new heaven, Jesus will still be our shepherd. Then... One of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these cloth in white robes, and from where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Okay, great tribulation, right? Uh, deep darkness experiences and they have washed their robes by the blood of the lamb therefore they are before the throne of god and serve him day and night in his temple and he who sits on the throne shall shelter them with his presence they shall hunger no more neither thirst any more the sun shall not strike them nor any scorching here our youth directors here, right? And youth coordinators. This is our goal. Therefore, they are before the throne of God. This is our goal. To lead, this is leadership. To lead our young people to the throne of God. Amen? Amen. And that must be our personal experience. We need, after waking up in the morning, kneel before God and seek the Lord, seek the Lord and present ourselves before, before the throne of God because that is our goal. Our goal is not to bring our young people to many activities. Amen? But to the throne of God. So we can submit all our lives, every corner of our lives and of our brain, of our mind should be subjected to the Holy Spirit of the Lord and lead our young people to the throne of God. Wow! That is the kind of shepherding that we need to do. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and He will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Wow! The Lamb! Who is that Lamb? The Lamb who died from the foundation of the world in Genesis 3, 21, who was that? He was our shepherd at the beginning of Adam and Eve's sin. Amen? Amen. He created the world in six, six days and it was very good. And in chapter 3, Adam and Eve sinned, but beautiful. He was a shepherd looking after the sheep, right? So he was shepherd in Genesis 3 and in Revelation and even in heaven he is still our shepherd what a wonderful picture of a leader a leader we are leaders youth directors we are shepherds amen dear youth directors we are shepherd of the flock that God has given us 
And He will guide us to springs of what? Living water. During this summer, we want to go to, sw- to you know, swimming, right? Living water. And God will wipe what? Every tear from their eyes. Find a city in this world that there is no death, there is no pain, there is no mental uh, you know, anxieties, there is no prison cell, there is no hospital. And I will go there. Is there a city? New York, there is none. Everywhere. There is no city like that. Only Jesus can provide that city for us. Amen? Amen. Only Jesus Christ. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and He will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear. So in summary, the Lord is our shepherd in? Good time. In? Bad time. And? All the time. Amen. Amen. There is no point in your life, dear beloved young people, when Jesus is not your shepherd. I'd like to call on our youth directors to come in front with the youth ministries coordinators. Please come. I want you to come here. We will read this beautiful text together, a a beautiful reminder from uh, Peter. Okay, please come with your ministries, ministry coordinators, all of you who came uh, here uh, at this leadership summit, please come. Not only youth directors, but youth ministries coordinators, please come. Yeah, if every mission conference, please come. Yeah, please come, everyone. Everyone who attended the uh, leadership summit, please come. Uh, you can please come here so that they can have space. Jen will lead us in reading this. And please read it prayerfully, okay? When everybody is here already. Shepherd, the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples of the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Jesus is our shepherd in good times, in bad times, and forevermore. And through Peter, he said, shepherd the flock. Who is your flock? The young people in your union, in your conferences and mission. Peter is saying, God is saying through Peter, shepherd the flock of God. And exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly. I know some of you are not paid workers here. These youth directors, they are paid workers, but you are not. You did it you are doing it voluntarily. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord for your heart. And I cannot thank God for, you know, so amazing. God, God's grace is working in your heart. You are not paid, but you are serving. Yeah? Pero pinapakain naman kayo ng mga youth directors, diba? <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. I'd like really to thank you for your, uh, for your kindness and your love to the Lord. So willing, you are willing leaders. As God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly. Not dominating over uh, those in your church, but being examples to the flag. 
So shepherd the flock and be an example. If the goal is bringing young people before the throne of God, be in the throne of God daily. You know, I learned to live daily with God. I don't dwell in the past and I cannot even know the future. I can only dwell at present. So, daily consecrate yourself to God. Bring yourself in His throne so that you can shepherd the flock before His throne when the Lord... Just remember, just try to imagine Jesus Christ is speaking and you can see Him face to face. You can see the, eye, the eyes of Jesus, His face, His lovely face. And y- your young people are with you before that throne. Amen? Amen? Amazing, right? And when the chief shepherd appears, who is our chief shepherd? Jesus Christ. You will receive the unfading crown of glory. Amen. We cannot pay you, but God can. But God can. So, remember, you have a shepherd in good times, in bad times, and forevermore. When leadership becomes bad times, remember, you have a shepherd. And when the leadership is good times, remember, to praise the shepherd. And remember that you are leading your young people to Jesus, who is their shepherd all the time. All the time. And I am so happy when we were in Bali, Pastor Juniper said, I know I need to bring our young people to spirituality. This is foundational in leadership and I am so happy. But let me warn you, not Pastor Juniper, but all of you, Satan can be in your midst when you are busy and forgetting to be in his throne. And if you allow him to be in your heart and bring trouble, there will be problem in leadership. So always be in constant connection with God. Dear directors, continue to bring your family, your wife in the ministry. Involve them in the ministry. Involve them in uh, service so your young people can see that you are serving together. As much as possible, bring them. And our young people also, please continue to serve the Lord and pray for one another. Yeah. Okay, and for those who would like to dedicate their lives to God and again renew your commitment to the shepherd, to our shepherd in good times, bad times, and forevermore, I'd like to invite you to stand with us and we will pray for you. Jen will uh, lead us in prayer, but I will uh, end it. End it. Father in heaven, we praise you, Lord, for the message that we heard from you this Sabbath day. Lord, we ask earnestly that you will give us the faithful, loyal, steadfast love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we will have the hope of seeing Him, our Lord, our Savior, and our lover. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank You for You are our shepherd in good times, in bad times, and forevermore. Indeed, O Lord, when the time comes when we see the chief shepherd, we will continue to worship Him, to be 
before him, before his throne. And we will praise him throughout eternity. And we will say, I will never cease to praise him, to glorify his name while eternity rolls. Oh Lord, our goal is to bring our young people before your throne, before the throne when every saved saint will be there and all generation, all people who have been saved will be there and we will be there together with the people, together with the flock you have entrusted to us. Oh Lord, thank you for this blessed opportunity. And how, whatever darkness our young people, our youth directors, and all who are standing right now are undergoing through. Whatever problems they are facing, O oh Lord, help them. Help them to say, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Provide them all the things they need. And whatever problems they have, bless them and strengthen them. In a very special way, I would like to pray for all the youth directors who are here, starting from Pastor Juniper. Help them, O oh Lord, to shepherd the flock of young people entrusted to them. Together with their wives and family, help them to lead these young people before your throne each day. O oh Lord, May your blessing be upon these ministries coordinators. Help them to be humble. There is, prob there, there is uh, really um, temptation to be proud when you are in leadership. Like what happened to Lucifer. He became proud and his pride makes him, uh, leads, led him to his downfall. Oh Lord, please help our young people to exalt Jesus and only Jesus in their lives, to honor him, to glorify him, that everything will be bounced back to Jesus who gave them and who called them to be under shepherds. Oh Lord, unite them that as they lead a great throng of young people, a great army of young people in this union, SWPUC, they will continue to abide in you. And by abiding in you, they will become a fruitful vine, bearing fruits, abundant fruit for your glory alone. So, Lord, before we end this prayer, we are consecrating ourselves to you and thank you for leading us to your throne. And we are looking forward, eager looking forward, prayerfully looking forward that we will be there in your throne when the Lamb of God will shepherd us into the living waters. This we pray in Jesus' name, our shepherd. Amen. You may now be seated. Praise the Lord for the powerful message. Pastor Ron and Ma'am Jen, to express our joy and gratitude for the message, would like to give you a token and a gift. But not only for the message, but also for your presence, for your prayers, for your support, and for your friendship. And before I read the citation, of course, with me are the big, big brothers of the youth ministry here in our union, led by our, our exceptional leader, Pastor Jennifer Joy Coligado. And with us, the Youth Director of Northeastern Mindanao Mission, Pastor Anisito Pablio Jr. And the Youth Director of 
Western Mindanao Conference, Pastor Mark Delwin Ferrer, and Youth Director of Central Mindanao Mission, Pastor Virgilio Tevez, and Youth Director of Zamwanga Peninsula Mission, Pastor Amorlito Hamoy, and in absentia, the new Youth Director of North Central Mindanao Conference, Pastor Ray Arellano. Let me read to you the citation, Pastor. Southwestern Philippine Union Conference, Youth Ministries Department. Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Pastor Petronio Henebago and Mam Jen. In grateful acknowledgement for your timeless effort as our speakers during the SWPUC Wide Leadership Summit with the theme Mission Refocus, held on March 27, to 30, 2024, at Southwestern Philippine Union Conference Headquarters, Cagayan de Oro City, signed by our leaders, Pastor Jennifer Cabajo Coligado, our Youth Director, Sir Chemuel Yu Almosera, our Treasurer, Pastor Max Dante B. Obos, our Executive Secretary, and Pastor Jerry C. Patalingo, our President, Pastor Petronio Hinebago, and Mam Jen. After we heard the messages of power, hope, love, faith, and trust, let this be our response as we march on and spread to the world of a shepherd that is always with us. For him of, our cons of, our, for him of consecration, let us sing, Onward, Christian Soldiers. Let us all stand.
Let us bow our heads for our prayer. Our omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent God, we worship and honor your name, for you are great. Earth was empty, but because of your presence, it was become perfect. We are nothing, but because of you, you are our provision. Sometimes we are lost, but thank you, for you are the path of righteousness. We praise your Heavenly Father for this wonderful day and for the wonderful message. We ask this in the loving name of Jesus, we pray. Let everybody say, Amen.
and troubled No light in the darkness you see There's light for a look at the Savior and life more abundant and free. Turn your eyes upon Believe him and all will be well. Then go to a world that is dying. His perfect salvation to tell. Cross to breathe. 
is the great divide. God is faithful. On my own, I'm unable. He saw me hopeless, alone, and sent a savior. He is provided a path and promise you God. His love delivers me. The great divide. There's a cross to bridge the great divide. Wow, there's a bridge to cross the great divide. Oh, we was made to reach the other side. The There's a cross, there's a cross to bridge, there's a cross, there's a cross, there's a cross to bridge, there's a cross, there's a cross to bridge, there's a cross, there's a cross to
Puluhan sa mga love us ug makapadakil na balita. First Sendaka Fellowship 2024, gipa si Ugda sa Publishing Department. Care Group Training, gipahigayon sa Southern Mindanao Mission Compound. Mas Amicus Central Mindanao University Chapter, ni Salmo sa duha kasimana nga pagmantala sa maayong balita. O Global Youth Day 2024, mainitong gisalmutan sa mga kabatanunan sa Kabadbaran City. Tiniugban pa ang mga balita ang angay na tungatangan din ni Mang sa Ms. Park, Live News and Commentary. Live, gikan sa buwatan sa Hope Channel South Philippines. Kini ang Ms. Park, Live News and Commentary. Maayong mundo mga kapaglaong, among pagabi-abi kaninyo din sa programa nga maghahatod sa pinakalabas nga kalihukan sa kapukudan sa lawak sa teritoryo sa hiniusang puwersa sa Southwestern Philippine Union Conference ng Southeastern Philippine Union Mission. Karong adlawong ipapahulay, pet sa 30 sa bulan sa Marso tuig 2024, among ihatod diha kaninyo mga pinakalabas nga mga balita nga nagsabwag sa kamatuoran ug nagdalawag na ko paglaom uban ang puwersa sa katawan sa Dios. Kini ang kapaglaom ni Liza La Victoria. Kini sa mangin yung kapaglaom Rene Boy Makilava alang sa Mispa Live News and Commentary. WMC o Western Mindanao Conference Gipasidunggan ng mga government leaders alang sa pagsuporta sa matagkalihukan sa Iglesia Adventista 
Mga kapaglaom ato kining lantawon diri lamang sa atong una nga report. Usa ka pagpasalamat ug pagpahinungod ang mga representante gikan sa Western Mindanao Conference uban usab sa mga lider sa Southwestern Philippine Union Conference, personal nga bibisita sa lokal nga panggobyerno aron pasidunggan ang mga pipila ka mga government leaders sa tibuok kaumahan sa Kasadpang Mindanao. Ang katuyuan ni ini mao ang pagpresentar sa plaque of appreciation ngadto sa government leaders sa nagpakita sa dili matarog nga suporta sa matag kahilihukan sa Iglesia Adventista. Ang inisyatiba nga gipangunahan sa mga leader sa komperensya nagtumong sa pag-ila sa bililihon nga papel sa mga government leaders sa pagpalambo sa positibo nga relasyon o kooperasyon sa Adventist nga komunidad. Pinaagi silang suporta ang mga government leaders na katampo sa kalampusan o epekto sa nainlain nga mga aktividades nga georganizar sa komperensya. Among gi-appreciate ang tanan nato mga politicians all over Western Mindanao tungod ni ini nga pag paluyo sa Bulhaton sa 70 Adventist Church in this territory o nagapanghinaot ko nga kini nga programa na gipasugdahan sa atong buhatan maghatag o dako nga impact sa stronger relationship sa atong mga kaigsuunan ngadto sa atong mga politicians agi tubag ang gipasidunggan ng mga government leaders mi pahayag sa ilang pasalamat sa pag-ila ug mi pamatuod pag-usab sa ilang pagsalig sa pagpadayon sa pagsuporta sa mga kaliukan sa Adventista sa ilang tagsa-tagsa ka mga dapit kiataga nila og gibugaton ang kamahinungdanon sa pagtinabangay tali sa lokal nga mga gobyerno ug mga relihiyosong organisasyon sa pagtubag sa mga pahinanglanon sa ilang mga gingsakupan ug pagpalambo sa kalambuan sa komunidad what motivates us really is kanang murabag um murag paying forward ba Pay, paying it forward um pag naay mo ngayog help basta magingon gali kanang uh, 70 Adventist murag it made me strong a stronger person tungod sa mga values, sa mga teachings na akong na-learn. If mutabang ko sa institution, uh, daghan pa pong bata or katawhan nga matabangan nila. Kaneng ako ang nahuptan nga responsibilidad o tawag sa pag-alagad isip mayor ka ng temporaryo rin eh, hinulaman rin eh. O gamito na ko ni, no? alang sa pag-alagad, pagsangyaw sa maayong balita. Adonay mga pundok na gusto po no? na masangyaw ang mga balita no? sama sa inyong grupo, may mo pong instrumento pagsangyaw sa mayong balita. So mag tinabangay ta kay more mana ang ato ang tawag. Pinaagi ni Ining pagbisita o pagpresentar sa mga Plaque of Appreciation ang Western Mindanao Conference nagpakita sa iyang halalum nga pagpasalamat alang sa pagsuporta o kontribisyon o pakigdugtong sa lokal nga panggobyerno alang sa pagpauswag sa misyon o mga katuyuan sa matag aktividades sa Iglesia Adventista. Kini si Kehas Persera alang sa MISPA Live News and Commentary. Ang Central Davao Adventist Churches. Tingnan nindot nga tanan-awon mga kapaglaom nga sadiin ang atong iglesia naghatag og pagpahinungod og pagpasalamat ngadto sa atong mga lideres sa atong nasod. Kudos sa atong mga uh, inisyatibo sa atong mga magbubuhat diya sa Western Mindanao Conference. Sugdang so, salamat sa report kapalaom K. Hesper Sera. Chosen information mao kini ang tema sa unang panagtigom sa tuig 2024 sa Central Davao Adventist Churches Association kon sindaka sa Bahada Davao City. Ani si kapaglaom Remar Hover Dayada alang sa ritali. Ang Central Davao Adventist Churches Association, kun sendaka, gihimo ang unang panagtigom sa tuig 2024. Alang sa pagpalambo sa panagigilaay o spirito sa panaguban ni Atong Marso de Sisay sa Bahada, Davao City. Nagipasugdahan sa Publishing Ministry Department na may temang Chosen for Mission, Remembering the Past, Celebrating the Present, Preparing for the Future. Napuno sa kalipay o kasadya, 
ang panagtigom sa diin nagkalain-laing mga miyembro sa walo kay iglesia ang nanagtapok sa tumong nga madaigang Dios. Ang Sabbath School program gisugdan sa mga pag-awit ug mensahe gikan sa Davao Mission Publishing Ministry Director, Pastor Dominador Tipdas. Kun diin iyang gihatagan og gibugaton ang dagkong kontribusyon sa publishing work sa pagpakailap sa ebanghelyo sa tibuok kalibutan. Kauban usab ang Philippine Publishing House Davao Branch Manager, Sir Emilson Jun Alcarin. Ang programa gitambungan sa Southeastern Philippine Union Mission Publishing Director, Pastor Dani Inato, ug siya ang mibatbat sa mensahe sa pulong ato sa divine service ug nagpahinumdum sa tanana nga ang buwat sa pagmantala sa pulong sa Ginoo dili lamang sa mga pinili nga tao. Apan kitang tanan mamahimong moapil sa buhat kung kita magpagamit lamang sa atong oras sa pagpahat sa mga pinatik sa kung asa man kita nahimutang. Unsa may mga butang atong nakatunan gikan sa publishing department, may kalabutan sa pagpaligpon o pagpadasig sa ato nga mga kaigsunan, mga batan-on. Hinaot nga ato ni mahatagag pagtagad ang publishing department nang inahanglan o mga magbubuhat karon o labaw sa tanan. Kining atong mga balasahon nga giandam, giimprinta sa Philippine Publishing House, ato ang taning tabangan nga mapahaluna nga ito sa matagpuloyanan. Hinaot nga ikaw, mahimong instrumento, kabahin sa buhat nga atong yapilan. Ang yun ko ikaw, apil, duyog ni ining mabuhat alang sa pagdaog hamiling kalag. Gihimo sa bang ordinasyon sa mga elders, Dekons o dekoneses sa walo ka iglesia nga wala pa na ordinahan pagkahapon kundiin si Pastor Benhor Gulosino ang nanguna sa pag-ordinahan ni ini. Ang espiritu sa pagkaandam nga moserbisyo sa ginoo uban sa ilang maarangan ang mabati panahon sa ordinasyon. Sa laing bahin, malipayon nga gidawat sa mga miyembro sa sindaka ang bagong nga pastor sa distrito, Pastor Ralph Raymond Indino human gibuhat ang installation ceremony kauban ni Pastor Tipdas. May baluan nga ang kanhi pastor Pastor sa distrito nga si Pastor Ben Horgulosino, mingritero na sa iyang serbisyo. Ang kulminasyon sa Global Youth Day, gibuhat sa ato sa fellowship, nga gipanguluhan sa mga leader sa kabatanunan uban sa katapusan nga minsahe ni Pastor Indino ato sa Week of Prayer. Pagkagabii, aktibo nga aming apil ang mga batanun sa social night kauban ng mga batanun nga sakop sa Cluster 1. Ang tumong ni ini nga panag-uban, mao ang pagtukod og panaggigalaay nga gikinahanglan natong buhaton isip mga katawhan nga nagahulat sa ikaduang pag-ani ni Hesus. Ang mga membro sab nagalantaw sa unahan sa maayong pagpangulo sa bagong district pastor isip instrumento sa Dios sa pagmatuto sa pagtuo ug mahimong dakong panalangin sa tanan. Sa ngalan sa Central Davao Adventist Churches Association, kini si RJ Dayaday alang sa Misma Live News and Commentary. Dalaygo ng Diyos sa susama ani nga katiguman, diin ang pagpalambo sa paghinigalaay o ispirito sa panaguban sa atong mga kaigsunan, sulod sa iglesia, gihatagan og dakong importansya. Dagang salamat kapag laom Remar Jober. Anita sa Southern Mindanao, programa sa Sabah School, gipahingusgaan o ba ng temang to win, to train, to mobilize for heaven. Atong sa taon ng maong programa, kauban si Kapaglaong Francis Pilyudar. Kapaglaong Francis? Prepare the soul for the heart. Adunay gipahigayon ng care group training din hi sa Southern Mindanao Mission Compound with the theme to win, to train, to mobilize for heaven. Ang mong katigayunan gitambungan sa mga kaigsuunan o mga delegado sa matag sector nga gipangunahan usab sa SMM Sabbath School Director Pastor Edmond Bobo. Kini nga programa alang sa pagpauswag sa atong programa diya sa Sabbath School. O ang pagpangandam ni ini dili isa lang ka panahon kundi dili gipahan ay gyud ni sa dugay nga panahon aron nga ang pag-implement ni ini mahimong mulampos o masabdan yun sa mga nagtambong o mahatag usap dito sa salot sa iglesia. Ang akong na nakuha yun, at akong impact sa among training karo na adlaw, amo ang sa Sabbath School na paggawi nga ka ng about sa uh, palpit etiquette nga kinahanglan magsinina yun o insakto nga kanang dili na maulaw maatubang sa atong magbubuhat nga maong ginoo. Among ipabot ang ginasingkasing pagpasalamat 
sa inyong makanunayon nga pagtambong sa mga training nga sama ni ini busa giawhag na to ang ato nga mga Sabah School teachers, Sabah School superintendents, Sabah School council ug ang mga church officers nga maghiusa kitang tanan alang sa usa ka sagrado nga buluhaton tungod kay ang atong tumong dili lang ang atong kaugalingon moy maandam apan ang tanan nga pagkasinakop sa iglesia maandam sa pagbalik sa atong Gino. Ang maong training naghahatag og impormasyon mahitungod sa pagdala sa maong programa nga angay i-applicar sa mga miyembro o mga leader sa matag iglesia. Pinaagi ni ini nga training adu na gyoy kausaban o kalambuan ilabi na sa programa sa Sabbath School Service. Plan see the truth. Usa sa mga strategiya nga ma-apply sa mga kaigsuunan nga pangunahan sa mga kadagkuan sa maong iglesia aron sa kalambuan sa Sabbath School Department. Kini si Kapagaon Francis Pilidar Reporting along the Misma Live News and Commentary. Pada yon sa pagkugi sa buhat sa Dios, Southern Mindanao Mission. Ogdangan salamat sa report kapag lam Francis Pelidar. Sa katuyuan nga mapadayag ang gugma sa Dios ug ang pagmantala sa maayong balita, usa ka evangelistic campaign ang Milanog sa Central Mindanao University Bukid noon, diin duol 350 ka mga delegado ang mitambong ni ini sa sulod sa duha ka semana. Si Kapalang Faith Siladan maghatag sa balita. Sa pagparehag sa gugma sa Diyos, ang buhat mas napaduso pinaagi sa evangelistic campaign din sa Central Mindanao University. Kindi nga buluhaton, gidumalahan sa Central Mindanao Mission uban ang pasog sa Mas Amikas CME Chapter. Sa matagabi, isulod sa duha kasimana ang mga mitungha ni ining Finding My True North na kabaton o mas dakong kahibalo sa kamatuuran sa Biblia, pinaagi ni Pastor Porfirio Lagunday Jr. Adunay kapin 350 ka mga individual ang mitambong o isa ni Ini si Kapaglaom Sandara Lang Gomez. May dormate at approach mi nga mag-appeal ani nga session kay nakita sa rugo nila nga stress ko that's why nga ila akong di approach nga mo-appeal ani nga session. Then thankful po ko sa ila ha kay ga-care sila sa kuwa then today nakabalo ko sa on pag save sa light sa person. As a Catholic, no, nakita na ko nga nice na dyan di ay mga muapil po na ni nga religion, no? May hatag usap si iyang hunahuna si T.G. Navichas. Nagmalipayon ko kay tungod ni Ini at doon ako yung mga daghang, daghang natunan nga mas nakapagpadasig pa na ako sa pag-alagat si Gino hilabi na sa panahon karun na adag, daghan kay mga kasakit apang tungod ni Ini mga isuon. Ah, mao ni ang mga mensahe ni pastor naga comfort kanako. Tukang paniana adunay usab gi paambit si kapaglaom Mary Joy Arellano sa iyahang paglantaw sa programa. Ganahan ko diari man hi tungod kay uh, mamit na ko akong friends, classmate and also makamit ko og bago nga friends. Then also na ako na learn not only biblical but in health last night talks about health how to avoid the stress, how to avoid anxiety, and now about the CPR. So I learned how to rescue someone if it is choking or drowning. Pinaagi sa pagtuog pag-ampo ang pagpakailap sa Ibanghelyo ni Jesus magampanayon sa pulayanan man o tulungaan. Kini si Faith Siladan alang si Ms. Palive News and Commentary. Daghang salamat kapag laong faith. Alang sa atong balita sa gawas sa Naksud, Adventist Development and Relief Agency, Kun Adra, naghatag og dakong importansya sa human trafficking tiyon sa Super Bowl. Ani ang report ni Kapaglaom Glenny Lumaktod. Wala ang atong mga iksuong Adventist. Ang Adventist Development and Relief Agency nagtuon sa pagprebensyon sa human trafficking at tool sa mga sporting event sa paglikay sa pagpataas sa kriminalidad, lakip na ang sex trafficking. Ang mga operasyon sa pagdakop sa sex trafficking may resulta sa mga pagdakop at tool sa 2023 Super Bowl o sa 2019 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament Final Tour nga may resulta sa pagdakop sa 28 ka mga biktima. 
Ang United Nations mo ay nagdumala sa usa ka dako nga pag-uswag sa mga biktima sa human trafficking din adunay labaw sa 115,000 ang gipangila sa tibuok kalibutan sa tuig 2022. Ang ADRA nagtumong sa pagpalambu sa kaalam, pag-edukar sa mga komunidad o pag-suporta sa mga biktima sa trafficking. Ang mga region sa Asia o Pasipiko adunay labing daghang biktima nga nag-apil og labaw sa kalabing kahin sa global nga total nga 29 milyones. Ang ADRA nagpatuman og dugang mga komprehensibong programa sama sa Keep Girls Safe sa Thailand aron makamatikod sa trafficking. Ang mga 70 Adventists sa Venezuela nag-organizar og 5K nga paglakaw aron ipasiugda ang I Want to Live Healthy nga inisyatiba sa simbahan. Ang inisyatiba nagatutok sa walo ka natural nga mga tambal alang sa himsog nga estilo sa kinabuhi, lakip ang pag-inom og tubig, pag sa positibo nga kinaiya, pagkaon sa masustansya nga mga pagkaon, paglikay sa dili maayo nga mga pagkaon, pagkunhod sa panihapon, pag ehersisyo pagpahulay o pagpalambu sa kalipay. Ang simbahan na kiglambigid sa kapin sa 4,000 kamiembro sa komunidad at sa ikaduhang tinuig ng East Venezuela Union 5K. Ang kalihukan mo ay paagi sa pagpaambit o paglaom o pagkonektar sa uban sa teritoryo. Ang Health Ministries Department magpadayon sa pakig-alayon sa youth, children's and women's ministries aron ipasiugda ang lain-laing mga kalihukan nga gidesenyo. Nagplano usab ang simbahan nga ipasiugda ang I Want to Grow Healthy nga inisyatiba sa mga elementarya o sekundarya nga mga eskwelahan sa teritoryo sa Union. Alang sa dugang nga kasayuran, pwede na mabisita ang opisyal nga mga balita sulod sa Seventh-day Adventist, ang ANN o Adventist News Network sa Facebook o website. Maugato ang mga impormasyon nga nakailap kay sa balitang international. Ikaw o ako mahatagan o paglantaw sa maayong kasinatian, bisan asaman sa kalibutan. Kinisigla ni May Perez lumaktod alang sa Mizpa International. Dalang salamat sa atong international news, kapag lang Glenny May lumaktod. Sa pagbalik, Northeastern Mindanao Mission Global Youth Day 2024, mainitong gisalmutan sa mga kabatanunan sa Kabadbaran City. Og son sa daw, kung ikaw papilyon kapag laom, asa ang imuha, karir ba o pamilya? Mo abroad, dako og sweldo, pero layo sa pamilya. O naara diri sa Pinas, gamay rag sweldo, pero dool sa pamilya. Ato ka nang atangan mga kapaglaong mga tubag sa itong mga higala. Og mga literary evangelist sa Western Mindanao, gipa si Dunggan pinagi sa Osaka Pinasahi nga selebrasyon. Giniuguban pa ang mga balita at ang din hilang sa MISPA Live News and Commentary. From your friend, Hope Channel, South Philippines. Luyo sa kalisod nga ato ang maatubang mga kapaglaom, atong hinumduman kanunay nga adunay ginoo nga magahatag ka nato og paglaom. Siya adunay sulbad sa atong mga problema o mga kagool. Daghang salamat sa mong pahinumdum. Taliwala sa kainit sa atong panahon karon ang ato sa mga kabatanunan sa Kabadbaran City mainitun usab nga misalmot og mi partisipar sa Global Youth Day 2024 si Kablam Kai Clyde Hikilan magahatag sa detalye Puno sa kasibot og kadasig kini ang gipakita sa mga kabatanunan sakop 
sa Kabadbaran District sa ilang pagsalmot sa tinuig nga Global Youth Day ning Adlong Sabado, pizza 16 sa bulan sa Marso, nga nasabak sa temang Show Up in the Cities, o uh, dinhi sa ato ni Mutangan Karon sa Duay Hospital, bitbit ang uh, gasa o uh, pagkaon ng mga basahon, ang mga kabatanunan, dalausad nila ang minsay sa paglaom o gugma. Pipila ka mga piling dapit sa siyudad sa Kabadbaran ang gibisitan sa mga aktibong kabatanunan sakop sa Kabadbaran District. Pangpanguna sa ilang district pastor sa tang mi abaga sa kalihukan. Ang mga faculty sa Northeastern Mindanao Academy kung nema o gang pipila ka mga opisyales sa mga kiglisyahan sa distrito. Sa bunta, ganun ay grupos mga kabatanunan nga may pwesto sa mga tricycle terminal sa plaza. Araw dito mga purapod o mga prutas, hygiene kits, tubig o mga tratados. Samtang pipila kanila ang may halad o mga pinasayang pag-ampo sa ilang madulan. Gibisita usap sa grupo sa pagpanguna ni Pastor Joseph Vicente ang detention facility sa Kabadbaran City Police Station. Din usap kahamubong programa ang gihimo sunod sa selda alang sa mga detainees at din na dili lamang mga bilanggo ang uh, nakadawat o mga gasa naglangkob sa mga pagkaon, Biblia o guban pang mga basahon kundi lakip na usab ang mga personay sa naiskutang kwerpo. Sa hapon, midalikyat ang grupo sa Duay Hospital o sa kinika pribadong tambalanan sa syudad din gikalipay sa mga pasyente ang presensya sa mga batanong mihalat kanila o mga awit pag-ampo o gasa. Sumala pa ni Pastor Joseph Vicente, District Pastor sa Kabarbaran District. Nga kalipay sa mga kabatanunan sa distrito ang pagsalmot sa tinuig nga Global Youth Day. Din ilang mapakita ang ilang kadasigo sa pag sa buhat, sa pagpahat sa minsahe sa yanong pamagi. Dako ang among kalipay sa pag sa atong buhat sa Global Youth Day 2024. Ang Kabadbaran Adventist Youth Ministry ming apil yun sa atong pag-distribute sa atong mga gift ngadto sa mga unfortunate people sa atong lugar din sa Kabadbaran City. Dako ang among kalipay mga kaigsunan nga ilang gidawat uban sa kalipay ang atong mga gihatag ngadto kanila. Ug dako ang among pagpasalamat nga ang mga kabatan-onan ming apil gyud ni ini nga buhat nga sila nahimo nga tiil, kamot ug baba sa Ginoo pinagis pagpakailap sa iyang buhat. Busa, dako ang among kalipay sa pag-report kanini og mao kini ang among G1 2024. Sa ngalan sa Adventist Media Caraga, Northeastern Mindanao Mission. Kini si kapaglaong Clyde Kilan alang sa Mispa Live News and Commentary. Dalay ko ng Diyos sa atong mga kabatanunan nga nahimong tiil, kamot, ug baba sa pagpakailap sa buhat sa Diyos o pagpahat sa iyang dakong gugma. Pinagi sa programang Global Youth Day, To God Be The Glory. Dagang salamat kapag Laom Clyde o Northeastern Mindanao Mission. Mga higala sa atong pagkinabuhi ni Ning Kalibutana, adunay mga desisyon nga naglambigit o bugat nga mga pangutana. Isa na niini ang pagpili sa career o pamilya. Ang mga tubag sa atong mga igsuon, karong si Manaha atong siren, kauban si Kapaglaom Tawing din hilang sa Unsa Daw! Bagong Pilipinas, bagong mukha, may pangarap pumunta sa ibang bansa, Unsa Daw! Hello mga higala, it's Unsa Daw Time! Hashtag laban para sa pangarap. Nakabantay ka ba Iksuon? Nga tungod sa kalisod sa panahon karun, daghan na itong mga kagisunan mas piliun himog content ang aksidente kaysa tabangan? Unsa Daw! Yes, trending kayo na siya karong si Manaha. Tungod kay daghang gusto sa social media makakwarta. Gani ang uban, lahi po ng plano, bahalag malayo sa pamilya. Sa ubang nasod, mularga, basta dili lang maglisod sa kwarta. Unsa daw? Aban ikaw akong pangutanon higala. Kung ikaw ang papilion, asa ang imuha. Ma-abroad, dako og sweldo, pero layo sa pamilya o Naara din eh, gamay ragsweldo pero dool sa pamilya. Tara, atong sa taon kung unse piliyon sa atong mga higala. 
mag abroad ka, dakog sweldo pero layo sa pamilya or dire lang pero gamay sweldo or gamay kwarta pero dool sa pamilya. Ako ang pili yung kanang bahala gamay sweldo basta dool sa pamilya. Ako ever since nakahuko magyud ko nga dire ra ko magstay together with my family. Uh, sa ako uh, before naka ingundred ko nga uh, mag abroad. Dire ra ko sa Pilipinas bahala gamay sweldo basta dool ko sa pamilya kay ug magkinaon sa ang ato mga mong pamilya ato ang maduulan so ang pamilya dili man kabayaran og salapi uh, ang importante man god nga dool ka sa imong family makita nimo imong mga loved ones nga nara pud sa dool ra gyud mo but as i grew older kanang realize na nimo nga mas importante jud ang pamilya uh, dili man kwarta nga tong tumong diri sa kalibutan kaya tong tumong diri sa kalibutan is makauban nato atong family and then makauban nato sila sa church og makalagat sa Ginoo nga kauban nila nasayod buta sa mga kahimtang sa mga naa sa abroad dili na lalim ilang sakripisyo mo nang ako personally di ko gusto maka experience og inana kung ako gusto lang ko nga dolls pamilya uh, kanang stability sa imo ang financial dili na siya magmatter gid sa imong panimuyo depende gid na sa imong paning kamo so good college na layo ko sa akong family Hangtod nga nakatrabaho ko din. Um, at this moment, uh, thankful ko sa Gino kay nagpadool na dyan ko sa Gino sa akong trabaho. Unsa daw? Mga higala, ang Psalm 139 nagpahinamdum ka na to nga No matter where we go on the earth, God will be there. Sa madagplano nga itong gihandom, atong pangayuon ang giya sa balaang espiritu nga mo'y magauban ka na to. Kini si Tawing Galigo ng Utana, Unsa daw! Daghang salamat kapag lang tuwing. Sa Western Mindanao, mga higala, mga literature evangelist, gipa si Dunggan, pinaagi sa Osaka, pinasahi, nga selebrasyon. Aniya si kapag lang Flory Mar Mirafuentes, alang sa maong report. Karong Adlawa, Ika-24 sa Marso 2024, ang Publishing Ministries Department nagtigom sa usa ka prestigyosong lugar sa Royal Garden Hotel, Ozami City, alang sa Literature Evangelist Thanksgiving, Awarding, and Commitment Program, alang sa paghatag, pagpasidungog ni atong mga misyonaryong nagpakailap sa dakong pagtuo o paglaong pinaagi sa mga pinatik. Gipangulohan ni Pastor Lemuel Nietes, Publishing Ministries Director sa Western Mindanao Conference, ang kalihukan nagsugod sa pagpasalamat o pagpamalandong, pag-ila sa bililhon na kontribusyon sa mga literature evangelists kon LE sa ilang komunidad. Uh, gihimo na to din eh, aron nga ang mga literature evangelists, kaoban sa mga uh, publishing leaders, ma-empower sila sa pagbuhat sa bulaton sa ginoo ni Ining Tuig 2024. Adun na na sa edako nga, nga kalampusan o kadaugan. Matod pa ni Pastor Leoncio Guteng Jr., ang kasamtangang Executive Secretary sa Western Mindanao Conference, ang selebrasyon karong adlawa dili lamang nagpasidungog sa ilang dedikasyon apan nagdasig usab sa pagkumitar pag-usab sa kaugalingon alang sa ilang halangdon nga misyon. Ang programa nagpakita sa kinasing-kasing nga mga pagpamatuod gikan sa mga batid nga mga literature evangelists sama ni Cherilyn Urbano, usaka literature evangelist nga giila sulod sa lima ka tuig nga pagserbisyo. Happy and blessed and I vow to continue serving God as a literature evangelist. Programa nagpakita sa makapadasig ng mga pakigpulong o mga testimonia gikan sa mga LE na may paambit sa ilang personal ng mga kasinatian o sa epekto sa ilang trabaho. Ang Osaka Literature Evangelist makapausab o Osaka Kinabuhi sa Osaka Tao. Ang mga nanambong gidasig pag-usab sa pagtugyan sa ilang kaugalingon sa pagkatinawag ingong mga literature evangelists. Osaka simbolikong seremonyas ang gihimo Nagsilbi nga gamhan ng pahinomdom sa ilang misyon na mahimong mga ambasador sa paglaom o pagtuo sa ilang mga komunidad. Uban ng mga kasing-kasing nga puno sa pasalamat o nabago nga determinasyon, ang mga literature evangelists mibiya sa Royal Garden Hotel, andam sa pagpadayon sa ilang hinungdanong buluhaton sa pagpaambit sa makapabagong gahong sa pinatik sa tibuo kalibutan. 
Kini si Flory Marmira Fuentes alang sa Mizba Live News and Commentary. Dahil salamat kay Pilaom uh, Flory Marmira Fuentes diya sa Western Mindanao Conference. Sa North Central Mindanao Conference, mga kapaglaom, Osaka Stewardship Rally ang marasigong gitambungan sa mga kaigsuunan sa East Jordan District. Ano si kapaglaom, Ritzian Celeste Luco Lanag, alang sa report. Isip na mga pinilan, kitag kasaligan sa pag-uli sa mga butang nga sa ginoo. Kalabot ni ini, adunay gipahigayong nga district-wide fellowship sa East Jordan Association din sa poblasyon Libuna Bukidnon SDA Church. Ang tema sa maong programa mao ang Give God First, na ang maong tumong ang pag-unagayod sa ginoo pinaagi sa itong halad o ikapulo kay kini mao ang makita ng sa pag policy mga kaigalaan, maukini ang content ni ni may tungod sa systematic benevolence or uh, combined offering plan nga pagahimuon sa matag membro isip hiniusa nga programa sa church aron sa pagpadangat sa world mission o mga proyekto gikan sa lokal hangtod sa global kini usa ka sacrificial giving nga pinagi sa pagsakripisyo masinati na to ang kahibulungan nga paggiya sa Ginoo sa atong kinabuhi ug usab pang panglantaw nga gikinanglan ang matag usa mawagtang kining kinaiya sa pagkahakog ug mabatnan ang kinabuhi nga manggihatagon ngadto sa uban inabi na sa pagtabang sa mga katawhan nga nanginhanglan sa mga kabus ug timawa dino bayobay ang nagatambong Adon ay mga naghahatag testimonies gaganina di nindot ang ilang uh, dagan sa ilang kanibuhi tungod sila naghahatag sa COP combined operating plan di nakinig nagkakorelate nga to sa Trinus message tungod ang Bangka Sulatan nagaingon nga ang offering o sa kadako nga ilimito din makahatag o relasyon na to nga to sa ginoo at ang commitment sa ginoo tungod kini makatabang ta sa uban makatabang ta sa pagdusok sa buhat sa katapusan ng panahon o ang Diyos magabalik na Tung kini gi-implement, kini gi-motivate o gi-encourage ang matangusa ng mga mga sa Bentermitis tungod kay kini dako o kalambuan din atong mapadako o atong mapaligon ang atong relasyon nga ito sa atong buhay na Diyos. Feeling na ako, wala ko na nakakuan ko nga bisan pa di ay o ka nang makasasala ta na paday gihapon gino sa atong kasing-kasinga na nga pa isa ako nga para mo pa ko sa iya ha. Dream ako na feel nga mas importante kita nga magpabatismo ka para permi ka doon sa ginoo unya bisan tood ka nang daghan kikagpagsulay si mong kinabuhi. So once nga na nakasagino ginoo diyan mo makita kung magparayon ba ka kung unsa ba ka kamatinod anon sa ginoo. So para sa kuha ang importan importante yun ang pagbautismo kung kay About sa kaluwasan, kung wala kay bautismo, diligid ka nga maluwas. Matod pa sa 2 Corinto Kapitulo 9, versikulo 7, nagaingon, Ang ginoo mahigug magayod sa mga malipayong manghahatag. Kini si Richins Las Lubisana Colana, gikan sa North Central Mindanao Conference Advent Media, alang sa Mizba Live News and Commentary. Dalaygo ng Diyos, ugdaghang salamat kabaglaom Richen Celeste Luku Lanag sa pagbalik sa Zamboanga Peninsula Mission, pinakaunang Literature Evangelist Association Rally sa tuwig 2024, nagmalampuson. Sa North Central Mindanao Conference, Adventist Medical Center College Iligan o Iligan City DRMO, gipalanog ang pag sa emergency preparedness sa tulunghaan at tol sa gipahigayong National Simultaneous Earthquake Drill o NSED. O mga higala, live report atong masaksihan, kinyentos ka mga diligado, madasigong ni Salmot sa MACFA Wide NCMC Cluster 1, Andrew Scamp nga dunay temang lift up Christ to ignite one's faith. Kini uban pang mga updates atong atangan dinhi lang sa Mispa Live News and Commentary.
Kalinaw ug gugma ang atong mabatian samtang kita magapuyo diri sa kalibutan kung ang matag usa adunay empatia A message from your friend Hope Channel South Philippines Hinumdo, panagtipok sa tanang literature evangelist missionaries, sakop sa Zamboanga Peninsula Mission, gipahigayon sa Labason, Zamboanga del Norte, atol sa pinakaunang literature evangelist association rally sa tuwig 2024. Alas report, aninga si Kapaglaom Aika Medel Sombrana. Kapaglaom Aika? Sa matahong nga gambalay din sa Labasan SDA Church, gipahigayon ang Literature Evangelist Association Rally di nagkahiusa ang tanang mga LA missionaries sakop sa Sambuanga Peninsula Mission. Ika-22 hangtod 24 sa Marso tuig 2024, nahitabo ang panagtigom sa tanang mga LA missionaries sa Tibuok Sambuanga Peninsula Mission o kinigipanguluhan sa maaptikon ng ZPM Publishing Director ng si Pastor Samuel Labag. Yatagan og dakong pagtagad sa mao nga programa ang mga magbubuhat diin hilom apan madasigon nga nagkatagkatag sa mga pinatik ug nagasabwag sa maing balita ngadto sa mga katawhan. Kining programa nga atong gihimo nga uh, publishing rally alang sa tanan nato nga mga literature evangelist og mga EPMLs din sa Zamboanga Peninsula Mission usa kini kapaagi nga diin ma-spiritualize usa mga ato nga mga literature evangelist ilabi na sa ilang pagbuhat sa Bulaton sa Ginoo sa publishing ministry. O uh, ako nakita nga nagmalipayon ang ato nga mga literature evangelist na padasigan sila o labaw sa tanan nga sa ilang pagpamauli sa ilang tagsa-tagsa ka mga teritoryo, mabat na nila ang dugang kalipay, kadasig, labi na ang kainiton sa pagbuhat sa Bulaton sa Ginoo. Ang presensya o minsahin ni Pastor Elmer Abista, ang kasamtangang publishing director sa Southwestern Philippine Union Conference, nagpadasig sa tanang mga LA missionaries o mga kaisunan o naghatag ibugaton sa kamahinundano ni ining TMI o Total Membership Involvement sa pagpadali sa buhat sa Diyos. Ang ato nga Total Member Involvement, importante kayo alang sa kaswagan sa Bulhaton sa Ginoo. Labi na sa publishing program sa ato nga pagwali, pinagi sa mga pinatik. Tungkol kaya ato mabasa sa Espiritus Tagna. Ang buluhaton sa ginoo, dili matapos. Hangtod nga ang malalaki o babay, batanon, tanan, magkayusa, alang sa pagduso uh, sa buluhaton sa ginoo. Mokini ang kasinatian nga mahuman ang buluhaton kung kitang tanan, we have to work concertedly alang sa kalampusan sa balaang buluhaton sa Ginoo labi na gyud sa publishing ministry sa so, sa highlight sa mga programa ang parade of the publishing pioneers ang pag-impersonate o pag-portray sa mga prominente o karaang manunulat isip pagpahinumdom sa ilang dakong kontribusyon sa publishing department goal na ko ekson no sa publishing ministry nga makapot ang goal sa matag kining grupo kay do na may goal gyud ang matag grupo so nako ni ang kahimuan nga among pagtambon din sa Literature Evangelist Association Rally so na equip mi sa mga pagtulunan mga lecture na dasig mi sa mga mga lecture atong na dugos sa atong mga leader so mao ni ang makatamang kanamo nga ang grupo unta by God's grace nga makapot ang kining matag goal mao na ang akong tumong na refresh gyud ang ako nga Uh, kalipay sa Bulhaton, sa Ginoo, pinagi ni ini nga uh, literature evangelism sa pagkatagkatag sa mga pinati. O uh, alang sa ako nga nakatuna ni ini nga programa karon sa rally, 
daghan kayo o gusan ni ni maugyod ang uh, pag-focus sa mga buluhaton. Ni ni nga tuig, nga di na refocus yun nako ang ako nga pag, uh, pagbati o paghuna-huna sa mga uh, goal ni ni tuiga. Sa pagsalop sa Adlang Sabado, wala natapos ang mao nga panagtigom. Gisugdan ang lain na usab nga hugna sa programa nga mao ang spiritual retreat nga gipahigayon daplin sa dagat ug mga dugang nga aktibidaris sama sa mga socialization, parlor games ug mga team buildings. Ako usab ginapadasigan ang tanan nga mga kaigsoon no sa pag-apil alang sa buhat sa Ginoo. Ilabi na sa pagkatagkatag sa mga pinatig kay mao kini ang paagi nga diin makatabang kita sa pagsangyaw sa maing balita pinaagi sa mga pinatik usa po ni kapaagi nga diin kita makatabang sa pagpadali uh, alang sa bulaton sa Ginoo pagkatamis handuraon nga sama ni ining ato mga LE missionaries kita usab abtik og magkahiusa diha sa pagsabwag sa maayong balita tungod kay gusto sa Dios nga kitang tanan mahimong kabahi ni anang gingharian nga iyang giandam kini si kapaglaom ay kamadel sumbrana alang sa mispa live views and commentaries Dahil lang ko ng Diyos sa mga programa alang sa mga egsuong magbubuhat sa Pinatik. O dagang salamat sa report, kapag lamang ay ka. Sa laing bahin, ang Adventist Medical Center College Iligan o ang Iligan City DRRMO gipalanog ang pag sa emergency preparedness sa tulungan at tol sa gipahigayon ng National Simultaneous Earthquake drill. Dugang nga detalye gahatang ni Kapaglaom, Shem Movera. Nagmalampuso ng Adventist Medical Center College Iligan nga nakikolaborate sa Iligan City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council sa ilang gipalanog nga pagpaidukar sa mga estudyante ug mga faculty and staff bahin sa emergency preparedness sa tulunghaan ato sa gipahigayon nga National Simultaneous Earthquake Drill. Okay, in response to the memorandum from the Commission of Higher Education, we, the Adventist Medical Center College, participated on that day for the simultaneous earthquake drill. As part of preparation, we collaborated with Ligan City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office, as well as the Barangay San Miguel. We also asked them to participate in that program. We're happy that the Red Cruz Youth Council participated on that program in which they perform how to rescue, how to search, and do the first aid um, management. So everybody has participated. Gipakita sa mga magtutudlo o mga estudyante ang ilang kaandam sa pag-atubang sa linog pinaagi sa Osaka Drill. Kini nga kalihukan gipaisugdahan uban sa mga sakop sa administrators, faculty o ang mga emergency response team mao ang AMCC Red Cross Youth alang sa pagresponde o ilang gipasigarbo ang ilang kahanas sa retrieval operation. Deal, Jude. Kay Importante jud kayo na kay dira daghan kag ma-learn, daghan kag mahibal-an, pwede pod nimo ma ma-orient ang imong mga kauban kung unsay buhaton, kung wala sila nakapil og earthquake drill, ingana ana bitaw. Kung mag-earthquake kay relax lang jud ka, dili magpanic, dock cover and hold. Dayon dira pod nimo ma-mabal-an ang mga unsay himuon before, during and, and after sa earthquake drill. Learn ako ang proper execution sa drop, hold, drop cover and hold. So this helps me to be equipped and be ready sa times nga kung mag, maglinog naman gani. This uh, also helps me not to panic and to know what to do. Ang mga estudyante nagpakita sa ilang kahibalo o disiplina sa pagsalmot sa maong drill. Ilang gi-apply ang drop, cover and hold o gipahibalo sa mga ruta sa pag-andam sa linog. Kini nagpamatuod sa ilang kahinaman sa oras sa katalagman sa maong paagi. Gipakita sa tulungaan ang ilang commitment sa pagtukod o kultura sa kaluwasan o kahandaan sa mga kritikal nga sitwasyon dinhi sa kolehiyo. Padayon kita sa pag-andam o pag-amping alang sa atong kaayuhan. Kini si Shem Jafet Imovera, gikan sa Adventist Medical Center College Iligan. 
alang sa MISPA Live News and Commentary. Dagang salamat sa report, Kipaglam Shem Movera. Mga kapaglaom, it's summer na! Sama bagihapon ang kainiton sa panahon ang iyang gugma sa imo? O sama sa ato panahon karon nga init sa udto apan may ulan pagkahapon? Unsa na pod kaha ang atong masinati niini nga simana ato kanang sutaon kauban ni Kapaglaom ay Yesu Dumangkas diri lang sa Ms. Panahon. Happy Sabbath mga kapaglaom! Praise God kay hapit na usab kita mag-welcome o bagong bulan. Karon mga kapaglaom, ato ng pag ng ato nga posibleng makauban nga panahon for tomorrow and the first week of April, March 31 to April 6, 2024. Diri sa ato sa kagayon di oro mga kapaglaom, kita makasinati o partly sunny na panahon na pag sa temperatura nga magagikan from 24 to 34 degrees Celsius. 23 to 35 degrees Celsius ang kasagaran and init jud gihapon nga panahon ang ato nga makauban sa lunes mga kapaglaom, mo nga iandam gayud ang inyo nga mga payong. Kasaganan, init ragi hapon ang ato nga panahon sa Adlaw nga Tuesday and may temperatura from 24 to 35 degrees Celsius. On Wednesday mga kapaglaom, a sky with a partial sunshine will welcome us nga may temperatura from 23 to 35 degrees Celsius. Sun in areas of high clouds in the morning, then mostly cloudy in the afternoon with a shower in places together with a temperature from 22 to 33 degrees Celsius. Finally, cloudy with a couple of showers. Ang ato nga masinati on Friday mga kapaglaom after sa week nga puro kainit nga panahon and the temperature will range from 24 to 32 degrees Celsius. Sa pagtapos sa atong simana mga kapaglaong pagkaubalan kita sa temperatura nga 25 to 34 degrees Celsius and mainly cloudy o landong ang atong panahon sa Sabado. Ang sunset o adlaong igpapahulay magasugod o magtapos at 5.51 p.m. mga kapaglaong. Having struggles managing your time mga kapaglaong, here are tips to do for you to do so. Number one, set your priorities. Write down all of the tasks you wish to accomplish each day. It's a good idea to keep separate lists that focus on long-term goals such as monthly or even yearly goals so you can keep track of these two. Next is break things down. Large projects on your to-do list can seem intimidating, but you can make them easier to handle by breaking them down into several smaller tasks. Next is create a schedule. You can estimate the amount of time it should take for you to perform each task. Make sure you leave room for breakouts or breaks throughout the day. You'll find your work better after you've stepped away from your work area every so often, even if it's just for 10 minutes at a time. Next is focus on quality. Be sure to not rush your work and focus on its quality. And lastly, avoid distractions. Stay away from distractions, especially when you're trying to focus on tasks that are part of big projects or when you have urgent deadlines to meet. Remember mga kapaglaom, setting realistic ob objectives and adjusting your schedule regularly will lead to excellent results and success. Hugot pa na kita mga kapaglaom! In 2 Timothy 1.8, the Bible says, So do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, of me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. This is a reminder for us, mga kapaglaom, to do not be ashamed and be discouraged when we are doing the work of God. Muna mga kapaglaom, now we must join and share his word. Tinyo kapaglaom, Miguel Ayasha Dumanca. Still meet again, the next time, Ms. Pa, Nahon. Daghang salamat kapag laom ay siya sa paghatag sa itong miss panahon karon ug hinaot nga ato agyod nga itutok nga itong kagalingon diha sa itong buhi nga Diyos. 
Sa laing bahin, kinyentos ka mga delegado, madasigong ni Salmot sa Makpawide NCMC Cluster 1, Andrews Camp, nga doon ay temang lift up Christ to ignite one's faith. Mga kapaglaom, atong sutaon, ang mga programa, pinagi sa live nga report, kauban si kapaglaom Rex Arellano. Kapaglaom Rex, kumusta nga to ang uh, Andrews Camp diya? Nagsa ulog ang tibok kalibutan sa Simana Santa, apa nagsadya ang langit og mga kaigsoonang Adventista sa Andrews Camp 2024 kung diin pipila ka mga hamiling kalag ang midawat sa Santos nga bautismo din hilamang sa Riverside SDA Church, Barangay Santiago, Iligan City. Kapin kinyentos ka mga delegado inubanan sa usa kagatos nga mga camp staff na adunay suma total duulan si Tintos ka mga representante ang madasigong Miss Salmot o nakiglambigit sa maong programa sugod ni atong Marto, Marso 27 hanto 31 ng tuig 2024. Nagkahiusa ang lima ka distrito sulod o gawas sa Dakbayan sa Iligan sa pagpakita o suporta sa maong programa. Ang maong camping adunay tema nga Lift Up Christ to Ignite One's Faith Apan dili lamang pagtuo ang napasigas sa mga delegado, kundili apil na usab ang pagbansay sa ilang kahanas sa pagpartisipar sa team building activities, camp cookery, regatta, rescue olympics, obstacle course o uban pang mga aktibidaris. Uban sa tabang sa media ministry, gilauman usab ang mga delegado nga mamahimong Adventist keyboard warriors o aktibong digital missionaries aron mas paspas o epektibo ang pagsabwag sa maayong balita o pulong sa ginoo. Ania karon ang atong MACFA Youth Director nga si Master Guide Fermin Culiantes aron sa pagsaysay sa preparasyon o kinatibok ang aktibidadis sa tibuok nga Andrews Camp Sir Fermin unsa man ang ato Sir Fermin unsa man ang inyohang preparasyon ug pagpangandam nga gibuhat aning Andrews Camp 2024 Ah uh, ang ato ang Macfawide uh, EY Department nagpahigayon og usa ka uh, madasigon kaayo nga camping dinhi sa Iligan City ug gani gisuportaran kini sa ato ang mga kadagkuan sa Macfa Exicom headed by Edward Torres uh, Sir Edward Torres ug sa uban mga kaubanan ang atong programa, gisugdan ni atong Merkulis sa gabi, o kandulan si Tintay uh, Uno, kamakalag, hamiling kalag na midawat kang Kristo, diha sa Santos nga bautismo. Ang atong programa, mo padayon pa kiniunyang hapon, o hangtod umak sa buntag, sa nagpadayon nga programa din sa Makfawide, nga gitaitulan na to, o Lift Up Christ to Ignite One's Faith. Mao ka na ang ato ang report, dinigikan sa Iligan City. Kausin still. Tumong og tinguha ani nga programa mao ang pag-equip sa mga kabatan unan sa pulong sa Ginoo og sa kahanas sa pagdaog sa mga hamiling kalag kay para pinaagi niini mas daghan pang kalag ang madala sa tiilan sa Ginoo nga puno sa gugma o grasya kini si Rex Arellano gikan sa NCMC Mass Media alas sa Facebook Live News and Commentary Wow, kapag laom Rex ato nakita kung unsa gyud ang kainiton diha sa tonga klema, mausab ang kainiton sa inyo ha nga pagkadasig sa tuang Andrews Camp. Kapag laom Rex, ad uh, base sa mga datos nga imuha nga gihatag pinaagi sa Santos nga bautismo. Kung ato ang mga delegado ba o mga campers magpabautismo pa sila mo decide unyang gabi e, na pabatay giandam din ha nga mubautismo sa tuang mga campers. Matod pa ni Master Guide Fermin Culiante sa ako ang na-interview kaganina. Magpadayon gihapon ang bautismo kung aduna pa'y mudesisyon sa pagdawat ni Ginoong Jesus. Wow! Praise the Lord niya na ang uh, maong uh, desisyon kapag laom Rex. Karon kapag laom Rex, ato usab nga sutaon. Uh, sa ato ang mga bautismo karon pipila man niya na ang mga nagka, na, na, na bilong sa ato ang uh, young professionals. Now, uh, 
paglaom, wala pa kita agay na data kay sa Camscribe na busy pa sila. Apan unya ma-provide kini kung pila ka mga young professionals ang nadaw ang midawat sa Ginoong Hesus. Pero naagay na apil, dili lang mga batan-on apan napukoy nakita mga hamtong kaganina nga midawat ni Ginoong Hesus as their personal savior. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Dakan keng salamat Makfa sa inyo hang madasigon og mainito nga uh, activity actually kapag laom uh, kapag laom ready boy and kapag laom ayesha ang atong north central mindanao conference adunay gipahigayon nga simultaneous andros camp dili lang ang makfa cluster 1 kun dili aduna putay cluster 2 ang ay dream og ang remnant federation cluster 4 nga gipanguluhan gayod sa atong maabtikon og madasigon nga youth director sa north central mindanao conference wala lain Pastor Ray Arellano ug sa mga opisyalis pod nga nagdumala ni kauban sa mga AYM uh, Adventist Youth uh, Ministry nga mga officers nga gipanguluhan ni Sir Rudy Edades. Ug daghan kayong salamat kapag laom sa maong report. And kapag laom Renny Boy Today, daghan kita mga special o mga events nga gipahigayon. Unsa man ni ang mga events nga imo hanga gusto ipa pakat sa mga kapaglaom. Actually, kapaglaom Manalisa, we are so blessed karon nga diri ta sa studio nag live sa tonga mispa tungod sa tong gipahigayon karon nga Youth Leaders Summit sa kaumhan sa Southwestern Philippine Union Conference din ang atong mga youth coordinators sa Tibuok Union nagtapok aduna na kita mga lain-lain ng mga coordinators sa 3 klase ng mga ministries all throughout sa Tuwanga Union o karon nagtapok sila para magplano makighugoy-hugoy o mm -hmm. ilabi na ipaligon ang kadasigon diha sa itong buhi Amen. Praise the Lord! Sa kawagya po karon kay ganahan dito kayo kung sa akong nadunggan about lagi sa Andrews Camp all so dito sa Hitagom dili na sa Iligan but also wow. dito sa Hitagom daghan gig kayong mga youth karon nga nagtipok sa to para put faith um refreshment or spiritual refreshment. Yes, and it's so nice to see all the youth no so good pa lang sa Global Youth Day ang mga yes. kabatanunan wow. nag ang ilang puwersa ba naghiniusag yo dili lang diha nagpabilin kun dili nati mga activities for our young people nga kanuna gihapon nilang ginasuportahan. Amen. Karon og sa umalabot. <laughs> Praise yes. the Lord. And we are so thankful sa mga missions and conferences no sa padayon nga paghatag og pag paghatag uh, sa ilang kadasigon sa mataga uh, mission and conferences dinhi sa tong Mispa Live News and Commentary. But before we end, gusto nako na pangutan-on about sa tong unsa daw. Okay, yes. medyo critical gani siya nga oh. pangutan no. So kung kamo ang pa Papili on. Una ko na ito si Kapaglao Mayesha. Career o pamilya? Para sa ako Kapaglao Manalisa na o Kapaglao Manalisa. Para git sa ako, unahon ginakuha akong career kay. Ang kanamagong career, if unahon ginin mo siya mo follow, nagiday na everything. Kay, if imuhang career kay successful, of course, makahelp ka sa imong family. So okay ra sa imong layo ka sa imong pamilya? Okay ra. Okay ra gin mas ako mag-sacrifice basta kaya akong family, okay. Wow. Ikaw Kapaglao Manalisa, boy? Uh, for me, uh, nana magiging ko diri sa ako ang estado karon nga nana ko stable job. Mas gipili igod na ako nga... Maduol ko sa kuha nga pamilya kapag lawa man nalay sa kay lahi raman yun ning kanang sa tong pagpanerbaho, sa tong pagpaningkamot mga kapag laom, murag medyo sulay-sulayan yun ta. Pero kung naasa ay muhang duol ng imong pamilya, baski pagdaghan o pagsulay, mulantaw lang ka sa ilaha, mamotibitar yun kita nga mo pa dayon, ilabi na sa tong buhi nga Diyos. Ikaw kapag laom. Ah, yes, of course. Ah, uh, syempre, uh, situational man gid na kay sa pagkakaroon, dili pa man ta minyo. <laughs> oh, so career sa. Pero pag magminyo na ta, importante gyud nga kanunay naa uban gyud ang imuhang pamilya. Praise the Lord, the Ligo ng Dios, mga kapaglaom. Og mo ka do ang mga nakalap nga mga balita. Atong nasaksihan ng mga nagalain-laing mga positibong balita o mga sugilanon sa paglaom. Kini ang inyong ubos ng egzoon, Rene Boy Makilava. Sugilanon ng makahatag ka nato, kadasig, o kaligon sa atong pagtuo. Kini ang kapaglaom, Annalisa La Victoria, nga sa kanunay ng hinaot ng mga pulong sa gugma, magpatigibabaw sa matagosapan nato. Ang gino magauban kanimo og kanako samtang kita magapadayon sa pagluwig aning biyahe sa kinabuhi pa ulit sa tong matud nga pulayanan kay inyong kapaglaom Miguel Ayesha Dumancas Hangtod sa sunod higayon may our heavenly father who watches over us 
fills us with love and joy this year 2024. Watch over you and me till we meet again here on Mispa Live News and Commentary.